Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Friday Night Paper Fight, where we are going to have our thrilling conclusion of the Canadian Highlander Summer League. This is episode three. I'm Serge. I'm joined by the wonderful Hot Wheels over here. You like that? I, I did. That was Those good. Those pops were a lot wow. better than I thought they'd be. <laughs> I'm kind of proud of myself for something that I shouldn't be proud of. I, you know, that's me every day. Yeah, well... Uh, so a reminder that the Friday Night Paper Fight is brought to you by the wonderful people over at CardKingdom.com. CardKingdom.com slash LRR, that's our affiliate code, it lets us know that we sent you. And if you say, uh, Loading Ready Run sent me button please, you'll get a handy little button that says, in response I concede. Uh, which I'm hoping to hear Wheeler say, uh, at least twice tonight. I ideally three times, I don't know how many games we're gonna get in, but... Three concessions? I'd, I'd like you to, yeah, I want to beat you so hard you concede more than we actually play. It's not gonna happen, but I can dream. Okay. I'm not running Shaharazad in my deck, are you? <laughs> Reaches onto shelves. <laughs> is, is that a move, like somebody plays Shaharazad and you just, I concede? Yeah? You just concede the sub game and it's like, You're you like, know what? Half my life is not that bad. It's not worth it. It's not <laughs> worth it. I like it. Uh, I also want to remind you that Friday Night Paper Fight is brought to you by you with your support over at the Patreon, over at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Now, uh, as some of you might know, and maybe some of you don't know, there is a large change that's happened over at the Loading Ready Run YouTube channel, specifically around magic content, and that is the creation of the LRR MTG channel. So, let's say theoretically you're watching this video right now on YouTube, and you're like, wait a second, I'm not on the Loading Ready Live channel. Well, surprise and welcome, because I believe this is going to be one of the first Friday Night Paper Fights that's going up on that. And if you didn't know that, uh, do us a favor and go check out that YouTube channel and give it a follow and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, other announcements, exciting stuff. Uh, did you know that over on September 20th, we are hosting uh, the L Drain pre pre release with the wonderful guests Vince Pleasant Kenobi, uh, Olivia Gobert Hicks, uh, Jamie Topples. And we've got Daniel Holtz over here, as well as the, low, like, the normal cast of Lur Friends. Uh, yeah, that's it for most of my big intro and business and accounting stuff like that. But there has also been changes in the format. Mm. Uh, and those of you who are fans of Highlander might be aware of the fact that there have been some changes to the points list. You want to take over on that one, Wheeler? Yeah, we made a couple of changes. Uh, let's cover them real quick. Yep. Now, for just to be clear, the deck lists that we are playing tonight do not... Uh, abide by this new points change. Look, I've been on the week. I've been on the road for two weeks. Don't make me change anything. Serge made them uh, park the plane in <laughs> in front of the moon base, um, and yeah. they just hopped out and started coughing up uh, piranha marshes and uh, other lands. That uh, yeah. Anyways, so as of September 9th, which is this next Monday, if you're watching this live, uh, demonic tutor will be increased from three points to four points. Crop rotation, a new addition, will be going from zero points to one point. Yeah. <laughs> Crop rotation's going up. This um, is the first time a lands card has been pointed in a while. I was getting nothing but discounts for the longest time, and I was like, yeah, give me all those points. As and... the premier lands pilot of the format, That's I, I agree Wait, that... What? No, don't worry about it. I agree that it hurts hard, but, you know, as someone that's been championing lands for so long, I think I'll manage. Uh, in addition to that as well, some fast mana got taxed. Uh, Soaring and Mana Crypt are both going up to four points. Premier Lands Pilot, really? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yes, go on. All right, well, that's a good segue. I made no changes to my deck between everything here. Um, did you change anything? I made a buttload of changes. How many is a buttload? Uh, at least 10 to maybe even 12. Okay, I mean, I made changes when M20 came out. I didn't put any new Commander cards in. New Commander cards? No, typically... <laughs> You don't get a lot of like cheap pump spells or like oh, right, right, little right, blue right, right, creatures right. in commander, yeah, commander sets, deck, yeah, except for fair. true name nemesis. Yeah, uh, but let's talk to people really quick. What is the Highlander Summer League? Well, we have a bracket. Uh, unlike most of our other tournaments where the stakes have never been lower, uh, at this event the stakes have been kind of lower. They kind of matter. Mm. So we track what happens. Um, event after event, and on the third stream, which is episode three right now, we have the following brackets. Uh, in the lead, we currently have a three-way tie with Alex, Wheeler, and Jeremy White, mm -hmm. all with 12 points. Uh, the sole occupant of second place, uh, I'm going to say second, not fourth, it's second in my heart, is our boy Ben. 
Uh, I'm in third, and we have Cameron at the back there. And this is going to be interesting. I'm really curious to see who's going to take it. We've got such an interesting starting point here. And I, uh, I'm a little worried. You know what? I'm not. I'm not trying to put Johns on the table to start things off. But yeah. I'm. A, I'm a little worried because I made the the changes that I made are really cool okay. and help showcase another aspect of Sorensen. But but they may not be the best given some of the people that I'm fighting. I may have crossed my fingers like, please fight these people, okay. and then I went zero for three. Well, not zero for three. I went one for. Am I the one? Am I the one person you're hoping to fight? Was it a called shot against lands? Turn one, Black Lotus, Anka Mishra, go. Do you really want me to answer <laughs> that question? No, I don't. Oh, I don't. Alrighty. All right, let's, let's play. Yes. Uh, and reminder, there is a command if you want to see the deck list, because uh, we've, been, we've been playing with fairly similar lists the whole time, so it should be fun. We rolled dice. I won the die roll. I'm oh. keeping seven. Oh, this seven is vaguely playable. I'll keep. Yep. Go. <laughs> Go. Snap. Don't yeah. you dare stifle me. No, okay. that's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm going to find a greeny blacky duel and have it enter play tapped. Mm -hmm. Wait. Mm -hmm. Yes, because it, it has to be, it has to be uh, off a swamp base. Welcome to Magic the Shuffling here, friends. It's not that bad. You know, Highlander gets a lot of flack for shuffling. Yeah. Do you not like shuffling? I like shuffling. I, I think it's therapeutic. My fingers are so swole, Ben, from constantly shuffling Highlander decks. It's nope. amazing. Sorry, swole in or swole, comma, Both. Ben? Both. Or swole, no, comma, Ben. Am I right, chat? What does, um, what does the no, comma mean? Don't even worry about it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I find it kind of therapeutic. It lets me think about what I'm going to do, how dead I am. Yeah, yeah. You're just in your head, you're like, don't panic, don't panic. You're like, I'm so dead. Act like I know what I'm doing. Uh, Hinterland Harbor, oh. and uh, I'm going to pass to you. Mm. Prismatic Vista. Yeah. Go. Hey, have you ever slow rolled a shuffle while you're like, oh, oh dear. Uh, no comment, Paul. <laughs> no comment. Uh, Jetty Offshoot. Counter it. I, I dare you. Can I read what this card does? Yeah, it's a 0-3 Defender. Uh, and every time a land enters the battlefield, uh... <coughs> oh, excuse me. What, why do you lose a life? Because I fetch. oh, because you're a fetch. I thought you were just like so ashamed. You're like, <laughs> you're like that's it. Uh, rude. Uh huh. Go. Go. He's yeah. Right. What do you think? I had a two drop to follow that. Can I fetch? Yeah. <laughs> Shadow of Doubt. No, I mean, could have. Oh god, that'd be so good against Jer. Shadow of Doubt. I mean, even Beej be even Beej beat me with Lauren. <laughs> well, I mean, Beej is the best Magic player out of all of us. In the Moon Base, yeah. yeah. I, you know, I, I've said this several times. I think that if we put Beej on a strict diet of nothing but Magic: The Gathering, he could win a Magic champion, Mythic KPTQ? champion. What the hell are they called now? He can win the Pro Tour, <laughs> effectively. That's what I'm saying. Alright. Fair? Yeah, just Hyperbog, Time Chamber, Beej. Sure, that's fair. You know, uh, and then put him under weight training or whatever. This is end step. You are casting uh, a little a little buddy. Trixie. What do you do? When it, it enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls, and it loses all abilities. It's well, an well, that's Ashcode just rude. Bear. Alright, you're good? fine. Hey. Yeah. You dare yoink me? Hi, I'm a land stack. Yeah. Hi, I'm a land stack. Oh, God. You, you, you guys should hang out, being this. You're both, <laughs> you probably have lots to talk about. It's true. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it, that's it, it says can't be yes, countered. No, <laughs> you don't know what I have in my deck. That's true. You don't know what, what I, I go through on a day-to-day. -day. I don't know anything about you. It's true. What are you oh, finding? Jesus. That's a little harsh. Uh, Foil Spellseeker? Uh, Dang. Brand, brand, brand. I'll find a Berserk. Uh, I'll find a Beta Sign Berserk. Uh, uh, go. Target creature gains Trample yeah. and gets plus X until end of Yikes! Alright. Until end of Yikes. Alright. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> yeah, Berserk mode. Yup. Ooh, Resolves. Uh, thespian stage, I'll make a clue. Okay. Uh, 
And then I will pass to you. By the way, check out these very pretty clues. Ooh. Yeah, the classic card Kickstarter thingy there. Mm. The, spin, the fifth spin stage is just kind of getting set up right now. Results. It's still, still empty. They haven't really set up any of the props or, yeah. uh, they're, or they're, sets they're, yet. They're getting there, Paul. They're getting there. They're having a good time. <sighs> wow, I like some of these cards. I like all of them, though. <clears throat> Writes Go. down Berserk. Okay, untap. Draw for the turn. That's uh, that's a spicy one. Uh, land for the turn. Okay. Triggered ability. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to announce my intention to fight you. Okay. No blocks. Would you like to uh, activate any abilities no. or cast spells? No, just take three. Uh, the second main... Mm -hmm. Uh, My favorite one. Let's get a let's get a counter spell out of your hand. Uh, thespian stage, overgrown tomb. This dog doesn't even block. I believe that's a dinosaur. Thank you very much. No. Uh, uh, no. Oh, God, please don't. Please don't, Bob. Please. Y you know what you're doing. Stop it. No, stop Bwah. it. Does it resolve? Look at its mouth. It's 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 <laughs> I, calling to you, Ben. You know what? After you did Counter the, <laughs> me, Wheeler. Oh my god, I'm so upset. Yeah, you know what? Fine. I'll force a will it. Oh. Aren't aren't you happy, Serge? You got what you wanted. And all you had to do was I'm not happy. Scream at me. You're not happy. <laughs> he played into your trap, Serge. Oh no. Oh god, he did what I told him to do. Uh, is that a goat? Uh, uh yeah. I thought the part, the, the baiting it out, and then you do a thing. What? <laughs> <laughs> Can't yeah, I notice yeah. you exile the uh, counterspell over here, too? Wait a I, 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 to... I don't know how this Highlander... Highlander is just at a, such a Attack level, I don't one. understand what's Effects? going on here. Uh, Writes down Berserk? Effects? Yeah, you take one. All right, I'm not okay. Berserking my spell secret. I don't know. Yet. Go ahead. Uh, end step. Crack the Scalding turn? Uh, thinking. Yeah. Let's see that stifle. You gonna you gonna idiot bird me? Why would I? Writes do down that? nimble obstructionist. <laughs> mm, yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, what's up? What's up? I just want to draw more cards. I bet. All right, that was your end step. Draw for the turn here. Did you lose a life from that? I did. Fetch I went down a. to seventeen. Uh, retreat to Hagra. Yep. Uh, Run away. Play this Field of the Dead. Yep. I've got two triggered abilities so here. So I lose one, you gain one? Is you lose one, I gain one, and I get okay. a clue. Wow. Feels good. Feels good. Uh, how, do you, how do you feel about value? I love it. I'm going to hit you. Oh, no, not so fast. Going to crack a clue. So get Ford. Yes. Built Ford tough. Well, you, you don't currently have the activation thing for the field, right? No, no, no. no. It takes seven or more lands. I'm a land stack, it's fine. Is that a goat? Yeah, go ahead. I'm also a land stack. You appear to be behind me by one land, fellow land stack. Oh no, you tied it Not up. Not so fast. Which one is that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Water loge. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Judge. Field enters tapped. Oh! Lol. Usually when this card comes into play, I just die. So I've never seen it. So oh, you drew did I a cheat? card? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Hey, did let's, you, get, let's get Jaren here. Did you need that mana for something? I did. I, mean, I, I used it to crack a clue, didn't I? Yeah. Because I played it that turn. <laughs> we can could, we could do... Judge! Oh, my God. We'll get an impartial person to be in here and see what they want to do for this. An impartial oh, an impartial person to make sure that in this friendly game, you we're, don't, we're two judges most... don't cheat I mean, against each other. Well, do you want to do a backup on this one? How do you want to do this? I, well... That's what I'm saying, is yeah. that we can untap we can do, the land. We can do a backup. You can put the, yeah. I trust you to untap the land, you tap for it, put the card that you drew off the clue back into your hand. And then put the clue back into put play. The clue back but then we also have to counter. remove a counter from it, give you another life. Yeah, but this oh, we'll is, just back it up. Okay, all right. We're on give TV yourself another surge. line. It's fine. I'll put the exact same <laughs> yeah, clue that was go. in play. It does, there we go. All right, we'll do a partial backup. You feel good? Yeah, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just keep going from okay, here. Okay, guess what, bud? That wasn't the one you had untapped. That's it. I'm calling a judge on was your Was it the I don't actually remember. I thought I would have... I don't care. You know what? I think it was the Interland Harbor. You're right. You're right. All right, well, if I get four spiked, I'm going to be very upset. Um... Oh, why didn't I think this through? Oh. Nice catch, chat. Nice catch. 
you can if you can 18 me this turn, I'll be impressed. I'm going to attack for one. I have before demolish. Here it comes. Here it comes. A blossoming defense. Okay. It's a three three. Yep, you take three. I'm at fifteen. Alright. Uh go. You're at nine, eh? Mm-hmm. Ah. I've got you right where I want you. No. Island. Oh! Uh, you're going to lose a life. I'm going to gain a life. And I'm going to get a clue. Mm -hmm. This appears to be seven damage. Uh, you're at eight? Oh, that's embarrassing. Well, <laughs> I don't make the rules. Don't you, though? Hmm? Uh, I'm going to... I, do. Well, I guess technically I do. I'm uh, going to crack a clue. Yeah. Gain a life draw. Or not gain a life draw. A card. Put a plus one, plus one counter on this friend. Very interesting. Uh, three mana. Mm -hmm. Azusa. Azuzu. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she's good. Okay. Uh, play a land. Oh, shoot. Yep. Yeah, make a clue. Drain you one. Chad, I don't think I'm winning this. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna crack this. Okay. So you lose one, but you gain one. I don't I gain one. one off the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everything you're saying is, in fact, correct. I do gain one, because it's the drain, yep. Do you need seven lands total, or seven lands plus the death? Thing? It's seven lands that have different names. So, whenever Field the Dead or another land enters the battlefield under your control, if you control seven or more lands with different names, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh -huh. you get a zombo. You get a bird, yeah. A Where's bird, it? aka zombie. All tokens are birds. Where, where are my bird tokens at? See? You want to take this? Yep. I mean, I guess a zombie could have flying... Uh, Briefly. Um, I if don't... If jumps? Where's our... You know what? I'm going to put this... I'm just going to put this token down for now. Mm. Should you not three, get... 3-3 three green token. Got it. Should you not get a uh, zombie also from the thing that... Oh, snapped? the fetch line before, yeah. too. Yeah, because it had a different name as well. I have two zombonies. I'm not saying this to um, bring it up in camera, uh, but do you know what Field of the Dead does? No. All right, great. When Field of the Dead or another land enters the battlefield under your control, if you control seven or more lands, uh, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mm -hmm. say tapped, which is relevant. Oh, um, nice. I'm going to crack another clue here. Okay. Now, are these green face-down cards near your clue token zombies? These are the zombies. Okay. I'll make different piles here. Hey. <laughs> uh, so, is that the right count? Uh, yes, because you didn't crack the clue last right. time. I'm going to play another island off of Azusa. Azusa. It doesn't give me a different thing, but it does drain you for one. Uh, and then I'll attack you for five. Uh, also gives you a zombie. Also gives... No, no, no. no this no, one has the same name. Same name. Uh, beginning of combat. But it did give me a clue, which I believe I put Do down Do you have snow-covered islands? No. Uh, I'm going to ice your tireless, track. tireless tracker. Yeah, it's, it's, combat. The, the, the Field of the Dead just cares about the names of what you have, not what you put in. Do you control... Whenever a land enters the battlefield, oh, we meet oh. the condition clause. All right, <laughs> we really need to read this card some more. Sorry, is anybody? What? Can we read this card for the fourth time? What does this do? What does this do? All Field right. Field of the dead. <laughs> Field of. The uh, anyways, I, I've been iced. I'll pass. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> I guess if I draw that, I can do. Yeah. Mm. A George too late. I'm oh dead. my goodness. I'm dead. We took a game, friends. We took a game. Mm. In response, he conceded. <laughs> I had priority. Just like the button. <laughs> Just like the button, Paul. I had priority. It was my turn. <laughs> yeah, man of George coming up. A little too late. There. So not bad. In our first game, being back on camera after a two-week break, uh, GRV, uh, you know, we had to do a partial backup. <laughs> yep. We both misread a card three times. Uh-huh. Uh, I think that's mm. good. That's good. We're improving. I think we read it, misread it four times. Yeah, probably. 
I'm going to be honest with you, I, I don't think I really read it any of the times prior to that. I just kind of glanced over it. And I'm so bad for that. You look at a card and you're like, oh yeah, I know what this does. Yeah, it's a Valakut, but it does it uh, mountains. Yeah, right? got it. Uh, uh, Chet, Chet did notice that when you read it out loud, you still didn't read the first line <laughs> <laughs> that says it comes into play town. Uh, it's like every time I play against goblins or elves, and I'm like, what elf is that? Oh yeah, sure. And then, it, and then they attack with it. Oh. And I'm like, wait, what? What is this? Oh, man, that, that Robo Rosewater game we played was so bad for that oh yeah it was just like oh yeah i know what this does wait what no <laughs> wait that the words are in the wrong order it doesn't oh no see i have i have uh, uh the idea of reading the card explains the card that is not true have you read so many magic cards and then it's just like have you read Kalidas? When you when you put <laughs> Berserk down, I was like, I'm not reading the card. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna wait for I'm gonna wait for the text to come up through the computer, which which will have the uh, the errated version. Yeah, like maybe if the card had like a URL at the yeah. bottom of like the gatherer page, then reading the card explains the card. That's true. For some early cards, reading the card is actually actively detrimental to understanding <laughs> the card. Wow, it's like you've never read Ice Cauldron. Ooh. That's, that appears to be a snap keep. Uh, I'm going to give it a... Uh, uh, mm, yes. <laughs> All right. Wow, that was a roller coaster. It was. It was. It was It was tough. Go. It's going to be Go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go. I ask myself, how many counter spells could he have? Oh, God. <laughs> One. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> all right, all right. Good start. Good start. And by good start, I'm just like of all the one mana counter spells for you to have, that's that's hateful. Oh, I hate it. Every time, every time someone just passes with like basic island up or a blue source on one or two, it's like no, no, stop it. Because they have the spell pierce, they have the snare. Oh, <sighs> every time. I'm like, I play around. This is the only card. Well, you're not well, playing. You're probably not playing days or four spike. So I was like, no, you I'm have. I'm. I am absolutely playing both. Oh hell. <laughs> uh oh. I'm oh, playing this is every. Bad. I'm playing every single. Oh, this card is really you bad. Have to play around. All right. Yikes. Uh, are you playing stifle? <clears throat> I'll never tell. Copycat. I played mine first. What do you have for a well-timed mana, George? Go ahead. I have this. Miracle Thunderous Wrath. Ha. Ah. <coughs> George. Yep. Yeah, you got a tracker. Go. Mana George? Why did it have to be Mana George? I don't play removal. I'm a lands deck. Mm, opt. See, how am I supposed to read this card? Is that German? Yes, usually. Why is there more words, more letters in the word op? There's like seven <laughs> letters there. This basically just says option. As in, I've got them. Am I okay. right, gamers? Uh, I'm going to play my hand. Okay. Um, let's swing a ling on in. I hate you. Well, let's get this combat trick out of your hand. I'm going to call Bloss... Uh, wait... No. Blossom? I'm not going to. I'm not. Wait, yes, I will block. Because if you have a Blossoming Defense, when I cast Abrupt Decay next turn, it dies. Yep. Block. Uh, before blocks. Before damage. Before, before blocks. Before blocking damage. Blossoming Defense, I called it. Come on. Just show me I'm it. I'm not blossoming. Show me it. Get off my back, Dad. Uh, I'm on the board. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going <laughs> to get a Breeding Pool. <laughs> Did you just Tim Allen me? No, that's more of an... Uh, 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 oh, oh. Oh, that feels bad. That's what got me? It's tricky. It's tricky to rock a rhyme. To rock a rhyme, that's right on time. It's tricky. All right, so my, my friend dies. Oh, and I get so two... incredibly dead. So two trample damage, do you have any other effects? Uh, nope. All right. Uh, goat. This is fine. This is fine. Where's my breeding pool? I don't know. Stop yelling at me. What in damnation? Oh, Bailoff. Yeah, yeah. Your 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 George is still getting bigger than My me. Gorgeous George, gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, go to you. Yeah, I recommend nobody play a game where you drink every time we shuffle. This is not the format for that. Oh. You have a miracle? No, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, Amazing. I don't ask for much, Dak. Uh, no, mental no, note. Nobody ever talks about like the really relaxed Bayloths. The Bayloth that just goes along with things is a team player. <laughs> team player Bayloth? Yeah. Supportive Bayloth. That's a 6-6? Six, six? This card's dumb, Ben. But wait, there's more counters being put on it. As I cast more spells... Dig through time. Nom, 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 One, nom. two, three. Sorry, let me do this appropriate to the deck. Eins, zwei, drei. Uh, let's keep this spell snare. Mana Gorge or Hydra, after, after like getting six counters or so, it should just go into like a coma. Be like, oh, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so full. I shouldn't have eaten so much oh. mana. Oh, they were giving it away for free and... Oh. Uh, one. one. Uh, uh, uh. So you only had the one counter spell, but it was well timed, unfortunately. Two. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> okay, this is fine. It's only a seven seven. I'm at twenty two. Mm. Vroom has been called a no blocks. Um, Lost me in defense. Berserk, am I dead? I'll double berserk it. No, you take seven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fine. Nope. That's fine. Uh, Polluted Delta. Yep. Uh, now it's my intention to fight you. Okay, no blocks. Good. One, two, three, four. Good, 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 good. I'm going to crack this. Okay. Got a 14. <clears throat> Alright, uh, we're getting be. this underground sea friend over here. You're a 12? Under the sea? I don't want you to be a 12, Ben. Being I a mean, 12 is bad for me. If you soul feast me right now, I'll go to 8. I don't even know what that card is. You're not playing soul feast? Who plays soul feast? Be real. Be real. Uh, Thirteen-year-old me. Yeah, uh, Soul Feast is like a Homelands card, isn't it? I think Starter and something else. I'm going to float a green and a blue. Goosh. Cast Gush. Oh, that means my thing gets bigger. Yes. You may gush. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not the... Uh... I mean, oh, you're so dead. Perfect. <laughs> Woo! You ever just have the perfect draw? What? How much mana do you have floating? Uh, zero. I ask as I cast days. Oh, I also get a trigger off this, so bram, and then bram for days. In response, I concede. This is my hand. Really? I have six <laughs> lands in hand. I have six lands in hand. Yeah, oh, I'm super dead. Surge, yeah. you're not the real lands player. Also, Surge, why is my hand nothing but lands? Yeah, I told you, welcome to being the real lands player, Wheeler. Oh, yeah? That's real it. lands players flood out. That's it. Next game, I'm keeping seven lands. Good. Oh, yeah, that'll teach me. Do it, you coward. <laughs> that's that's it. All right, gentlemen's agreement. Yeah. We both start with seven lands right. in hand. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick yeah, pick the seven best lands in your deck. Okay, Let's you go. go first. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Does fast bond count as a land? Uh, yeah, I think it's okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, Does cast Gush, draw two gush lands. A land? <laughs> it says land right on it. Is Gush a land? In the following paper, I will discuss... <laughs> Look, Ben, everybody knows any card that has the word land printed on it goes in the land stack. That's got my back. I took eight land Belcher. You know what I did? Added a land. Bold. That's just good branding. Bold. Yeah, that percentage-wise, that's that's big. <laughs> yeah, it's I've huge. never seen a deck add, what is that, 13% <laughs> more lands to a deck? No, in one move? One land surge. Courage. Not 13. Are Ren and Six a land? Yes. I cut Ren and Six. Did you? Yeah. From your from your green blue lands deck. From my green blue lands deck. That's fair. I'd cut it too. I've never tried it, but I hear it's, it's good. Real... Oh, don't, it's real. Don't cut red and six. They're cool. That's fair. They're great. Look, I only cut it. Be... Well, no, I cut it for multiple reasons. I wanted to showcase a different pointed card. Okay. Uh, so my spread's a little different. What do you mean by what different was... pointed card? Red and six aren't pointed. No, but they yeah, get a lot. Spoilers, yeah. counselor. <laughs> the following cards are now pointed. All planeswalkers. <laughs> 
Black Lotus is now zero points. So yeah, um, what what are the points in your deck search? Are, are things going to have to change? I have Demonic Tutor and Crop Rotation in my deck, so things are going to have to change. And you're full up on points? Oh, and I'm at 10 points. Yeah. It's, uh, yep. Oh, Ren and Ticks $100 is a good joke. I'll take yeah. the play. Ren and Ticks is a good one, too. Ren and Ticks. It's a million ticks yeah, on Magic that's, Online. That's good. That's good. You know what's another good one? A Ren and $600. All right. The jokes just keep on coming here. Oh, yeah. Oh. to the woods today. I don't know the rest of this song. This is the you hardest mulligan to... I've ever had to make in my entire life. Is it seven lands and you're trying to see if you <laughs> want to just keep it? No. Let me, let me share some of the cards in my hand. Alright. Forest. Okay. Great card. Top five basics. Fast bond. Great card. Top five fast bonds. Zern orb. Oh, you had me at Zern orb. Ramanap excavator. Okay. No yeah. other lands. I know, right? Reveal the top two. Show me the top two. Land, land. Easy peasy. This gets a mana source. Not if I have a... I have to have cast a blue, Benjamin. Not if you're... I need a like blue that. mana to cast it to find a land. Yeah, you... Okay, well, you Spoilers, don't have to shout. it doesn't shout. fall the land. You don't have to shout. <laughs> you don't have to shout. I'm going, you're keeping your hand? Yes. I'm so sad. I'm so sad! Also, anytime I say someone doesn't have to shout, just throw water in my face, because... Or hot coffee. Either one, because... Hot, All I'm, I do I'm not going to waste good coffee on your face. No, I didn't say it had to be good coffee. Oh, I don't, why would I have not good coffee? I don't know, you grabbed it out of someone's hand to prevent them from drinking bad coffee? Look, I'm trying to be on your side here. I, I just like how it's like this the concept of Serge having bad coffee just doesn't. <laughs> it, it just doesn't. He does, it's like that doesn't make any sense. Why? Uh, my suspension of disbelief is completely ruined. <clears throat> Throwing. God, if I had a second land in that hand. God, if I had a completely different card. If you go down to the woods you want to cut today, this? Do I? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Throw a bunch of, uh, like, Nescafe powdered coffee in his face and then throw hot water on his face. That way you're just making the coffee <laughs> right at the source. Pocket Folgers. Uh, that good, huh? Yep, that good. That, that good. That good. I, I, I in... In honor of our friendship, I'm going to send it back because it'd be, it'd be unfair to keep yeah, a hand wanna, that good against him. You want to make exciting magic. Happen. I do, I do. And, you know, just the one-sided uh, uh, pummeling that that hand represented was just not going to get us there. It doesn't make for good TV. No. You want no. it back and forth. No. no. You want... No. No. Uh, five, eh? It's, remember, we're on the London mulligan now, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In my head, I was like, second six is, doesn't exist anymore. I, for one, yeah. have... <clears throat> Been enjoying the London Mulligan quite have a to. lot. Quite I a have lot. Too. Yeah, it That's definitely real. makes me feel like my decisions <clears throat> are well, they exist instead of previously where I'm like, does this degenerate? Nope. <laughs> Throw it back. All right, deck. I don't like you. You don't like me. But we both don't like Wheeler. So let's do this. Oh God. Oh. No, it turns out you just don't like That's me, That's absolutely huh? brutal, because my deck also doesn't like me. You want to know something ironic? There's no lands in my hand. Because <laughs> they're all in my deck. The lands. Why did you have to take all the lands from me, Wheeler? Well, after we started sharing a collection. Yeah. <laughs> ah! No, I said I was playing lands. I gladly would have kept a seven lander. <laughs> There's a fixed, a fixed number of lands that are allowed at the table. Yeah. Yeah, there's only seven lands allowed in an opening seven, and all of them are in Wheeler's hand right now. I can win off of four. Right, chat? You believe in me? If I told you I kept a seven land hand, would you believe me? No, not in a second. Not never. Never? Never. Oh, that's not wise. You know, Serge, there's that whole thing about, like, uh, uh, you know, restrictions really help. Sometimes will actually, like, help. That's fair, yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes with all seven whole cards, you can be like, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I there's so many options. You know what? I would... This is the, the four cards that's going to focus you. <laughs> you know what? I'd probably uh, 
not I not to give unsolicited advice to someone I'm about to beat in a match of magic. But uh, you know what I would do? I'd probably add more lands. But that's just me, uh, coming from me, the premier lands pilot of the format. Uh-huh. So uh, take that with a grain of um, salt. And ben, not a rain yeah. of salt. As... Ben, always always add more lands, Wheeler. Yep, that's That's me. what they call them. <clears throat> All right, I've got a four. Nice, dude. I've got a four. I've got a four. I've got a four. Go. Whoop, go. <coughs> Just. Ah, ah, ah. Why? Woo. <sighs> You're not running four spike, are you? It's really a force, a force mace. It's less. A <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a force guillotine, I believe. I should be more kind to you, or else, or else, chat. I'm, I'm, the comments go are going to be like, go "That's ahead. it, Wheeler. You've hurt Serge for the last time." <laughs> we thought we liked you. We thought you were cool, but it turns out you were just a bully. You're just a meanie. It's okay. My deck has hurt me more than Wheeler ever could. Chat. Have I ever told you the story about the first time I met Serge? I don't know this story. You don't know the story? You roll into YJ. I'm I I wasn't working there at the time. You ask if you want if anybody had decks to play. Mm -hmm. I said sure. I had like a type two deck or a standard deck. You pull out a deck with four soul rings, four crucible worlds, four strip mines. You don't remember this? I do now. And, and you just like are laughing and kind and jovial, obviously. And as you're just like demolishing me, and I'm like holding back all the salt as I just get stripped into oblivion, uh, I'm gonna play Wear Bear. Oh, hello, little buddy. Uh, uh, bar. I can't help but notice that you have a red splash oh. in your deck there. Yep. Uh, but according to the documentation on the TV, you only have uh, two colors in your deck. It's for Fire Ice. Oh. And Timber Battle Rage. But we don't count that. That's a card I just drew. Uh, go ahead. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Yep. Uh, what bear? Uh, Verbal. Okay. Verbal. Germans, please help. Attack for one. That was a totally normal human noise over there. Don't worry about <laughs> Go it. Ahead. All right. Wait, Part of the cards. Wait, is that a German werebear? Duh. Uh, yes. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, it, it's actually spelt with a V instead of a W. German foil werebear. Let's yeah. Be, uh, you're up. You're up, my dude. Let's be clear bear. <laughs> Let's be clear bear. <laughs> I like my mono uh, blue deck. Go yep. ahead. Oh! Oh no! Yeah. Now, yeah. this werebear is kind of legendary. I Yeah, <laughs> it's true. It's a legend. Uh, but can it beat the humble antelope? Oh my god! Maybe. Go ahead. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. You said maybe. That clearly means it resolves. I was asking this. <laughs> um, it's a gray ogre wheeler. Yeah, f uh, yeah, fine. I'll play a bird. Ka -ka. Go ahead. Oh, uh, Ben, did you do a snap? Uh, uh -huh. yes. After you. No, please. Sorry. Please, it's Sorry. your life total. No, no, it's your by life all total. means. Sorry, I'm total. good. Okay, tell you what. There you go, bud. Perfectly normal Canadian interaction. Oh, how dare you. Go. All right, untap. I'm going to draw land. Okay. That's the face of a man who drew a land. Attack. Yeah, what's up? We on the board. Uh, Tireless Tracker? They're not uh, very... No. Uh, Why? Uh, Sego? Why have you forsaken me? <laughs> this is fine. Everything about this is fine. Flooded grove. Yep. Oh, you got green mana. That's bad. I can finally cast my 7-drop. Well, I mean, you could cast your 7-drop anyways. Right. You could have been tapping your werebear. <laughs> you idiot. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. All right, I'm going to draw land, and everything's going to be fine. I'm going to try casting a ponder. Can yeah, you counter fine. that, too? I No. Good. Oops. I saw this card. I need do to you shuffle. Know the order of any, you know the bottom three cards of your library? Yes, I do. Please keep those aside. Please yep. randomize the yep. rest of your deck. Yep, 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 yep. Um, do you have any other infractions over the course of this? Uh, I do. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it was a GRV, uh, GPE. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is just to look at an extra cards warning, so I think we're okay. 
but we'll escalate. I okay. Appreciate well, that. Uh, in my book, uh, GRV stands for Give Redhead Victory, so I'm going to have to give you a game loss. You know that's fair. Yep. That's. And you have cards in your lap. Jesus. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Gain two life. Wow. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Steady. Single. Um, what you say? You go down to the woods today. What? You gonna try and crack this in response? Nice. Boop. All right. Uh, gonna find ourselves the old, Man, the old greeny blackie. I'm a lot like you. Try and abrupt a cant. I got an unsummon to save my bird. That's fine. At least I don't take three. I also gain two. Yep. Did you already do that? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay, I'll go to fourteen. <clears throat> <clears throat> Writes down stifle. Go. I will tell you this. Attempts to write down stifle. Get stifled. <laughs> <laughs> Smacks the pen out of your hand. <laughs> oh, Ben, take a look at my life. I'm a lot like you. That's not a you. That's an antelope. I want someone <laughs> to play lands the whole day through. This werebear's really doing good things. Ta uh, yeah, I'll attack you. Come on, bring your bird in. Ka -ka! Yeah, I'll cast one with nothing in block. Uh, one, two. Coiling Oracle? That's card of my deck. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> uh, bring your bird back. Pass. Ka -ka! Bring that bird back. Yep. Uh-oh. I shouldn't have said how I'm going to uh, win this game. Because I'm uh, drawing a lot of land. Okay. Hmm. As the lands deck, I have three in hand. Okay. I'll take you I'm at eleven. Three. Go ahead. Untap, untap, draw for the turn. Oh no, my hubris. Attack for three. Uh, yeah, I go to twelve. Yep. Land for the turn. Yep. Game three. Reveal this is the top card. Good, chat. Fields of the dead. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose this. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Yep. Uh, pass. Crack. I go to ten. I'll respond. <clears throat> I'll play a Merfolk Trickster. Trying to get rid of the ability on that one? I'll okay. That so I'll end up gaining one life. Woo! This is getting tense now. Now we got ourselves a now we got ourselves a game of magic. I do nothing. All right, I'll put an overgrown tomb into play. Go back to eleven here. How many cards in hand? Uh, three. Okay. Yeah, Serge, uh, uh, holding his own with the four hand four. Card, the four head. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with the mold of four. The mold of four, yeah. Top card is a regrowth. Oh, that's a good one. Looks at cards in graveyard. All right, uh, draw regrowth. Mm -hmm. Reveal the top card. It's a gush. Yeah, that's also a good one. Uh, attempt to cast Ramen Up Excavator. Jeez Louise. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, play land for the turn. Okay. Gain three. Uh, attempt to cast Azusa Lost but Seeking. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I have to. Uh, I have to have crack to this. Fetch. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna go down to thirteen. Uh, grab an underground C. 
When Underground Sea comes in, I'm going to gain three. And then I'll have all my lands tapped out for that. Okay, Zeus is going to resolve. Yep. I interest you in cutting. All right, reveal the top card. It's a land. Second land for the turn. I'm going to gain three life. Jaddy offshoot A. Uh, third land for the turn. I'm going to play Misty Rainforest from my graveyard. We're not doing so well, Chad. Ufa. Ufa, doofa, indeed. Uh, I'm going to crack this and go down to 21. It, uh, Antelope is doing good work for you. Antelope is a freaking hero, Paul. This excavator will be the death of me. I think I need to draw. So grab this tropical cards. island. Yep. One, two, three. You know what? If if you've got a guy digging up tropical islands, there's something. There's some sort of very strange uh, cir circumstances happening. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to cast regrowth. Look, there's a monk with a bunch of antelope surrounding. And her. regrowth is targeting abrupt decay. There it is. There it is. There's finally we found a target. Yay! Uh, let's move to attacks. Okay. Uh, Corsair. Uh, yep. Pass. Oh, this is the biggest yikes. Oh. Yeah. Uh. I will pass. Untap. Untap. Draw. Draw Tassiger, reveal a top card. It's a Leovold. Uh, I'm going to play my first land for the turn, gain yep. three life. Uh, I'm going to crack this, go down to 26. Gain three life, go up to 29. Sorry, I'm doing this one at a time, trying to see the best card as possible. Don't worry, I'm not doing much in between. Yeah, I'd like to, like to cut. Oh, you're good. Uh, second land for the turn. Reveal the top card. Dark Depths, there it is. And then Dark Depths, gain three life. Uh, it has ten counters on it. Declare my attacks. Uh, sure. I attack with everybody. Mamma mia. You're, you're literal, you literally dug too deep until you found a giant monster. I will walk your, like that. In your lands. Okay, so you're going to take three. My poor antelope friend is going to die. Uh, and then I'm going to cast uh, Tassiger for black and one, two, three, four, five, six. Leaving land, land, abrupt decay in there. That's uh, true. Should you put some... Uh, counters on the dark depths. <laughs> not or on, no, not on thespian mind. stage. No, please let him have the counters on the stage. Uh, pass to you. Oh. Is the, the, there's no there's no point in putting the counters on the dark depths. There's ah. No, there's no point to any of this. Go. And snap. <laughs> oh. Uh, Thespian Stage cops Dark Depths, Sack Dark Depths, Estate Base, Thespian Stage is now Dark Depths, has no counters on it. Uh, we get this fantastic spaghetti friend. Untap, draw for the turn, reveal the top card. It's a watery grave. Let's go through the motions first, just in case. Reveal, gain one. Ooh, a gush. Uh, just in case, I'm going to use my other two land plays to play Dark Depths and Thespian Stage again. I wish... And that I could turn back time. Attack with everything. Oh, before combat. Oh, tap my whole team. Tap team, draw card. I accept. Man, that excavator is like, uh, I found this giant ice thing in the ice, maybe. <laughs> do, you, do you want it? Say go. Tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. <clears throat> Yep. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, I'm dead. Thanks for the games. Thank you very much, friend. Oh, that was brutal.
I knew as soon as I said that made the comment of like, I'm going to win this game, I was just like, oh no, I'm going to lose this game. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot. You know, as the land, Premier Lands pilot of the format... I'll give you that. I'll I, give you that. You, you run into these instances where your high land count decks draw... Nothing but lands. Nothing but I lands. saw it too the previous game before. Yeah, it, it's just a product of being... So dedicated deck. to lands. You just yeah. love it. You want to put as many as many lands in your deck as possible. I can respect that as a, as a fellow lands player. Yeah. The 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 speed that you were the combination of those three, the lost but seeking, the uh excavator and the center of crucifix. The course of crucifix, yeah. Uh made you 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 were burning through your uh, lands so fast. The lands in the deck. Yeah, I, I yeah. mean, as soon as as soon as a lands deck starts to get those synergy pieces, you just start piling advantage on top of the, itself. The RAM app is the biggest one because yeah. with like Corsair, you can still. I mean, you're a lands deck. You build your deck to chain lands, but you can still but yeah, be able to all the snaps to keep coming back and yeah. back and back. But yeah, between the RAM app, like gaining that much life every single turn against a deck that I don't have a lot of removal. Um, so when it sticks, yeah, I had, I had Well, some... that was like me when you landed Gorge, big old yeah, George, George down there. Yeah. I couldn't beat that. I mean, speaking of your deck, uh, don't we have something prepared if people are curious? Oh, we, we do. We yes. Gotta... Wanna, let's look at, uh, the deck deck. Now this would be for your, the previous version of your deck. I oh, guess. right. It won't have the it, latest changes, it which It will is fine. be, but I tried to make the deck tech as kind of like generalized about the archetype and what it can do and highlighted some of the stuff I had done previously and things that I had intended to do for this week. So, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a short break, leave you with Wheeler's deck tech, and when we come back, round two and a recap of what else happened off the camera. Stick around. We'll see you then. So the deck I'm playing in the Canadian Highlander Summer League is Sorensen Tempo, also known as Simic Sorensen Tempo. It's a blue-green tempo deck that has your average collection of creatures plus disruption. So the object of the deck is to stick a creature that seems kind of weak initially, but over the game gets a lot more threatening and then protect it through a variety of counter spells, pump spells, mana denial, whatever it may be. So one of the key creatures that you'll see in every single build of Sorensen is gonna be Quirion Dryad. This is a card that, for those of you that might have some experience with other older formats, uh, you'll be familiar with this card, as it's a cheap green creature that doesn't want you to play many other green spells. And that's fine, because a majority of our deck is actually gonna be blue. So your average game would involve sticking a query in Dryad, and then over the course of the game, playing a cantrip here and there. So stuff like Ponder or Preordain, Brainstorm, cheap blue spells that'll help you filter through your deck more for cards that actually impact the game, and then also make the query and Dryad bigger. And then if you find yourself in a position where they are trying to kill your query and Dryad, well, then you have good old fashioned Counterspell, Force of Will, if the situation calls for it, you can unsummon, that's right, actual factual unsummon your own creature as well, just for protection. And since you're in blue-green, you don't have a lot of options for removal. So when you have a big query and dryad and your opponent has some road bumps in the way in the form of tokens or other boring creatures, you're going to need some unsummons. So we have unsummon, that's a big one. Dismember is a bit of a splash that you can use as well, because again, you don't have access to normal modes of removal, so you're willing to dip into the Phyrexian mana cards to fill that role. Uh, if those don't work, there's always Berserk. So Berserk is the main pump spell that you're probably gonna see in every single build because it lets you close the games. This is effectively our reach where other tempo decks that have access to black or red might have tools to really close the game through burn spells or resolve a massive delve fish or demon to threaten them, we're stuck with our werebears and query and dryads. So Berserk helps push those over the edge and kill our opponent typically in one or two turns. But you're gonna peck away at them slowly because again, all of our creatures more or less 
start from very humble beginnings. Cards like Terramander, cards like Mana Gorger Hydra. So they're often just one ones for their baseline cost that get bigger over the course of the game. And again, because we have blue, we are gonna have access to a variety of counter spells so that even our very dismal beatdown plan for the first couple of turns of the game, it's not the end of the world if we're not killing our opponent immediately because they cast a spell, we memory lapse their spell, it's tale as old as time. As far as points go, there you got a whole bunch of options. I've decided to go for more of a wide spread. So a bulk of my points are put into Mox Sapphire, Strip Mine, and Umezawa's Jite. Jite and Strip Mine are some of the most powerful things that you can do at two points. The Mox just helps me get a step ahead of my opponents. With the remainder of my point spread being filled out through True Name Nemesis, a pesky blue creature that also kind of helps me against red and other creature matches, but it's pretty good with pump spells like Berserker Become Immense, Spellseeker, a nice utility creature that is going to allow for me to find my Berserk, my Mana Leak, whatever counter spell the situation might call for, or even uh, Life from the Loam, which I'll get to at the very end. And then Treasure Cruise, because who doesn't want to draw three cards for one mana? Alternative ways to approach the point spread, uh, ways that I have done so for previous weeks actually, involve going for more heavy hitters like Ancestral Recall and Time Walk. Whether or not the widespread is better than the heavy blue pointed cards, that's really dependent on the cards that you're throwing around to support it. There is something behind what kind of wear bear or wild mongrel you're throwing in your deck. Some get better with other cards, some just want you to draw as many cards as possible. Speaking of Wild Mongrel, uh, let's talk about Life in the Loam. Seems like a weird segue, but Life in the Loam it goes quite well with Strip Mine that's in our points package, and also goes well with a bunch of other grow creatures that often depend on you casting multiple spells a turn, uh, making land drops, putting cards in your graveyard, or having a lot of cards in hand. Because if I life from the loam three lands back to my hand, then I discard them to a wild mongrel and I kill my opponent dead. So for my land sub theme package, um, there's strip mine as mentioned earlier, life from the loam, crop rotation, and the new card from core 2020 elvish reclaimer. Uh, elvish reclaimer fits right at home as a one mana creature that also grows over the course of the game just by doing basic things that you're going to want to do in your average match of magic put cards in your graveyard, ideally lands. And then the light splash that I'm sure some of you have cheesed me about, uh, there's a little bit of red for Renin Six, a new card from Modern Horizons that I think is the bee's knees and probably one of the best things to be doing right about now. It's cheap enough that I can feel comfortable splashing it in the deck. Sorensen is a deck that is no stranger to splashes. Often it will be black, occasionally it'll be white, but red is also offering very on-brand cards like Ren and Six or Temer Battle Rage, effectively another copy of Berserk. But don't get it twisted, we're blue-green. We don't have many ways of killing our opponent's creatures, but we do have a lot of ways to kill our opponent. And that's the idea. You stick a threat, you protect it, you muck up your opponent's mana base, you cast a Berserk, you win the game. Welcome back to Friday Night Paper Fight. Fight, fight. Friday Night Paper Fight. Here on the Loading Ready Run Entertainment Juggernaut. I'm Cameron. Chair. Sure. I didn't know we upgraded from network to a juggernaut. That's exciting. I, well, we are unstoppable because there's like 40 of us. So, uh, how did round one treat you? Uh, pretty well, actually. I went, went lost game one to Alex, mm -hmm. but in games two and three, I was able to stabilize with the the value life gaining creatures, Sunscourge Champion, recent best card you're not playing was an, an really? all-star. Really? That's yeah. the white one with uh, um, Embalm, Eternal, right? Eternalize. Eternalize, yeah, right. Comes back as a 4-4, which is super relevant to the right. matchup. Right, oof. Um, I fought Ben, who blew me away with, with Mono Red, 
I it, 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 we took it to, the, to, to match three, but uh, yeah, the four color has a real hard time against Blood Moon. Yeah, I I heard him just like say Blood Moon, and I was like, oh, no. yeah, I've definitely been there. I've played Aristocrats and mm -hmm. like more than like even like the Cali tosses and the Anafenzas that like stop your like recursion get yeah. value engine like blood moon just ends the game That's yeah it's like yeah. you're in a position where you're like eh, maybe i can draw a card that will let me play a spell yeah but probably not <laughs> uh but you know I, I i i felt i put up a noble fight anywho uh we are on here to round two yeah uh i won the die roll we have both kept seven and we are prepared to do battle for your entertainment indeed so what was the one? Gladiator? Know. Oh. It at various times it was a Yeah, thumbs down yeah. or like covered thumb, I think. Anyway. It yeah, uh, start, started like this and then Yeah. But the crowd cheered or not. Mm. Or just, you know, whatever. Whatever you felt like. Uh I'm gonna go to eighteen. Nice. Black Cabal Therapist. Alright. Foil Cabal Therapist. Ooh. And I'll say go. Uh, I will draw. I will play a Marsh Flats and fetch. I will right. acquire a Savannah. Mm -hmm. And with that Savannah, I will cast a spell. Don't! Oh. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Yeah, Alex fetched turn one in one of our games, and I was just like, overgrown tomb tapped. <laughs> sort of like coily. Like, yeah. no, he, he cast a two power one drop. Oh, uh, was... yeah. That, that is what that, that, that deck C wants to do. Certainly, yeah. Just... I think it was Dryad Militant, mm. but doesn't affect me as much as it normally would. Not, not many blue cards in this deck. Not looking to... Right, right, right. Utilize the graveyards so much with the... Uh, Mm. Oh my god, there are two Camerons. I didn't know you were also a five-color Luren aficionado. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I swapped out 15 cards between matches. <laughs> Watched my deck tech, did you? Uh, mm. uh, You've I'll done pretty well, Cameron, but birds. can you defeat yourself? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> like, how... Honestly, Paul, have you been paying attention for the last ten years that we've known each other? I mean, really. What else do I do? Um, Beginning all right, Cabal Therapist. Uh, yeah, pre-combat main phase. Trigger goes on the stack. You do have a good record of hitting me with blind Cabal Therapy. I do. Would you... Hmm. I may sacrifice a creature when you do... Char I uh, target myself and then decline to sacrifice I a see, creature. I see. Uh, I will... Misty. Indeed. Attack. Ha <laughs> I take. Parity. No blocks. Okay, I'm going to put you ahead again. Ha <laughs> I'm winning. And then go and find a green source. I am a noted lands player. As am I. See? Yeah. I'm about to, in fact, I'm about to play lands. Look, Cam even has more lands than me. In my experience, this is exactly when one gets tithed. Uh, Taiga. Indeed. Crack it. Can you tell what I top decked? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll say go. Uh, uh, wait, I just missed a damage. Didn't <laughs> you, I? Did. <laughs> you did. I thought I was being clever. I wanted to send a message. I, I definitely owe you one, Jeej. <laughs> All right. Uh, go. He barbecued me when I had my land stack at the last GP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a 1-1? One, one? Uh, it is currently a 1-1. One, one. I'll Ooh, put new, you back in the front. New stomping grounds, huh? And then play this card of Plague Wind. Oh. All, all of your, I ch will choose the mode all of your creatures get minus 1, minus 1. Uh... Ah. Important update. Okay. Uh, from Card Kingdom. Apparently, <laughs> in response, I concede buttons have run out. 
Uh, wow. Uh, so the new the Go button ahead. that is now on set that is now being given away is symmetrical effects are fair. <laughs> right in time for a Lurin. Yeah. The Caves of Qualus. Classic fair symmetrical card. Mm. Um Ouch. Sin collector. Uh no whammies. No whammies. I have an Elvish Mystic. But I require you to have whammies. I have a Nurturing Peatland. Okay. I have a Leovold, Emissary of Trust. Oh dear. An Undiscovered Paradise. Uh oh, you can cast that. And an Ice Fang Quaddle. Okay. Wait, no, you cannot yet cast. No, you can. You can totally Leovold me next turn. I can and will. That's bad news. <laughs> uh, go. Well, I'm nothing if not a man of my word, so I'll mm. play Nurturing Peatland. I will tap the required mana, losing a life, to play Leovold. All right. And an Elvish Mystic. Okay. And Beatdowns. Uh, for one? Yeah. It has Haunt. I will take your one. Excellent. Your turn. When does Leovold draw you cards? Uh, whenever you target me or anything I control. I see. Ouch. Liliana, heretical healer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he's a 3-3. Three, three. Yes. Thus, the basis of his appeal. Mm. Actually, that's not true. It's not the basis, but... Uh, go. Draw a card. Um... Oh, wait, it didn't catch it? It's too foil. She's got, like, lens flares. It's... Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Buglin. Uh-oh. I've been buggled. Uh, top four power two or less. Oh, 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 I see. Well, those are both incredibly good. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go with uh, Palace Jailer. Oh, no. Random order. Is it five? Does it look at the top five? No. Oh, Judge, I looked at five. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, I know what the fifth card was, but... Did, was the pal no. was Palace Jailer the fifth card? These two were the first cards. Okay. And I was like, holy crap. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> Can we get a Judge call? Yeah. Judge... I suppose I'm supposed to model good behavior here. Yeah, I was like, look at <gasps> look at the top four. <clears throat> Grabs five. So Beach made this deck, right? Yeah, yeah. Hi, Magic Players. I'm a judge. Hello. Hello, judge. Uh, I played this Militia Bugler, read it, and was like, I look at the top four, get a creature with power two or less, and then grabbed five cards. Uh, you may look at the top four cards. Are they still in the same order, or did you move them around? Uh, this is the order, but I definitely moved them around. That is the order, but you definitely moved them around. Well, yeah. we have ourselves here in a an Ariel Axed sort of environment, which is fairly chill. Okay. Uh, do you trust your opponent that they're in the correct location? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the card you shouldn't have looked at, which is the last one in the stack here. Do you know the location of any other card in your deck? Like, any things scribed to the bottom? Have you shuffled recently? Yes. You've shuffled recently, so we'll put this back on top. Uh, and then do you have to shuffle from this anyways? Uh, only these three. Okay, all right, so randomize your deck and then and then get to the point there. And does that does that get the board state back to where it should be? Yes. You figured everything else out there? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, players. Thank you, yeah. Judge. Thank uh, you, Judge. So I shuffle. Do you want to shuffle these? Yeah, sure. Excellent. That way we can both shuffle at the same time. The loading screen of magic. Excellent. Uh, I have a Palace Jailer. All right. I have a land to play. I think, yeah, I definitely get to play a land. I will play this one. All right. It is bad. 
Um, the worst land. I just played Militia Bugler. So in that case, I will pass. Okay. Untap. Cabal Therapy, naming Palace Jailer. <sighs> Hoisted. I also um, have a quaddle. Okay. Um... That definitely enters the graveyard. And still an undiscovered paradise. Okay. Um, oh, I, I get to draw a card, actually. You do. From this Leobold. Yes. Because he targeted me. And that trigger happens before it resolves. So you still get the Palace Jailer, and you get to know that I also have a Death Rite Shaman. Woof. Okay. That may impact that on whether or not you want to flashback this Cabal Therapy. It... Mm, mm. I don't know. Actually, uh, I think I'm just going to say go here. Interesting. Yeah. I'm going to sacrifice this nurturing peatland. Wait, am I? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm going to take another one and cast this Ice Fang Caudal. All right. Because it has flash. How exciting. Mm -hmm. And it enters play, so I'll put it on the card reader and draw a card. This one you don't get to know about. Mm. Uh, then I will untap. Do you, do you have the snow permanence at the moment? No, no. I literally don't have enough in my deck. It just I just want it to draw a card. Yep. Um I feel, draw for turn. I feel kinda sad for the ice fang coddle now. Um He's always way too warm. Mm. Attack with Coddle. Uh no blocks. Excellent. Deathrite Shaman. All right. I'll put this Undiscovered Paradise into play. Okay. Sylvan Curated. Uh, go. End of turn. Ouch. Mausoleum Secrets. Four. Two. two. Okay. It's a formidable board there. It, well... It's less formidable than it looks. There's yeah. a lot of things, but not a lot of power. Like, yeah, it's not really a board full of beef. It's... I have eight creatures in play, and I might have eight power. Mm. Four, five... I have nine power. So that's just, only just over an average of one power per creature. Finding my own death right. Eight creatures, nine power. And like... Any Le Leovold is good, but I don't really want to trade it for Liliana. Yeah. So Leovold's just going to, on the old, like, just sit there and be a Leovold. Which, I mean, like, once again, not know, the worst. It's something that he's pretty good at doing. Yeah, yeah. Certainly. I, I'm not in a position to complain, but... Leovold, you just... You, you, you sit there and be Leovold. You can... You know how yeah. to do that, right? Yeah, and then he just says Leovold. Yeah. He's like a Pokemon. <laughs> Leovold. Leovold. <laughs> Leo, Vault. Blooming Marsh. Enters tapped. I know. <laughs> I wonder what you drew. <laughs> uh. <laughs> do, 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 do. Death Rite Shaman resolves. Go. Now I will sacrifice my nurturing peatland. Mm. I see. Um, do all the untapping. Because Death Rite Shaman uh, looks at all graveyards. I imagine they probably get in each other's way a lot. Yeah. Yeah, we're about They're... to have a good old-fashioned death right battle. Um, which usually goes to the advantage of the person with the most mana. Mm. Whoops. Um, I'll bop you for one again. I've been quaddled. Uh, go.
colorless. Yeah. Blasting station. That's new and exciting. Mm-hmm. Um. You googled me with that one last time. I did. Wait, I did? I did! <laughs> hmm. Yes. Fond so, memories. Yeah. Uh, Alluren and Blasting Station. Sorry, can you put that Blasting Station on? I suppose so. Although it's going to draw you a trillion cards in this game. Excellent. Um, go. Notably, I don't draw if you target things in my graveyard. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to eat your Cabal Therapy. I will... Eat my own Cabal Therapy. Excellent choice. Uh, I have nothing else to do. All right. I will draw. Play a Windswept Heath. Um... Death Red Shaman is just going through the graveyard, licking all the things. Huh? Yeah, These are all it's mine. mine. It's mine. It's got my name on it. Attack I've, with Quaddle. I've been won. Um, go ahead. Grumbles. Lillian isn't even good as a planeswalker here. <laughs> <laughs> you could make me discard cards. Ooh. <laughs> Hot diggity. Uh, Want to bet how many more lands I have? I'm going to take a wild guess. Um, well, one's a land and one's just a card that normally would be good, but in this situation is not. not good. Not um, good at all. Young Wolf. Let's see. Blasting Station trigger on the stack? It is. Um, I will actually sack the Sin Collector to shoot the Ice Fang Quattle. I draw. You do draw. <laughs> um, yep. Untap. Indeed. Um, Liliana transforms. Indeed. You get a Zambo? I do get a Zambo. I have a feeling that this will be when the attacks commence. Maybe. Vachnia um, Pamyat. She enters with three loyalty. With Liliana gone, these attacks do look a lot more enticing. They do. Do they not? Um, uh, maybe you, if I do this more. Can you oh. put the uh, flip version on the. There we go. Rolling up to the club like. Um, tell you what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, I'm going to sacrifice Young Wolf. I'll draw. Okay. What and are you I will do in? one damage to Deathrite Shaman. Okay. Young oh. Wolf what? enters the battlefield. Yeah. I will shoot Deathrite Shaman again. I'll try to remove with this bird's mana your mausoleum secrets. That is unfortunate that that occurs. Uh, I draw again. Mm hmm. I will say go. Or wait, no. Hold on. You, you can use your Liliana. I can use my Liliana. I will use my Liliana. I will plus two her, and I will discard this Carry Zeb's expertise. I will discard this Blooming Marsh. All right. Blooming Marsh. Nice. Got There's there. also a trigger from the zombie that I completely missed on the blasting station, but you can such is life. Um, yeah. Thank you. 
No problem. We're at, we're I'll at say go. super. Um, trying to decide if I'm fetching or not. I'll fetch upkeep for the spice. All right. Didn't want that card. Good choice, me. Um, does it matter? Nope, mana's great. Get this Tundra that I can legally get. Okay. I said Tundra. Don't worry, chat. Don't worry, we're working on it. Would you like to cut? Uh, I suppose that is a responsibility I have. And uh, draw step. Hmm. Play an underground sea. Okay. Ten. That's. Yep. That's Seems an alarming like it statement. Works. I think it works. Um, Idyllic Tutor. Switch to the library for an enchantment. Uh oh. Um, yes. I will get Survival of the Fittest. Okay. I'm not going to shuffle uh, too long because. We're going to be hopefully searching some more. Yeah, I'll... I'm going to cast this survival. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use this survival, discarding a Findhorn Elves. Okay. Mm, poor Findhorn Elves. Uh, I think we all knew they weren't the fittest. Mm. To get Recruiter of the Guard. Okay. Recruiters also traditionally not the fittest. Mm. Typically, the guard are the fit ones. The yeah. recruiter likely less fit. I mean, you, you you generally want a good hype man, but perhaps not the most fit person. Uh, four Should mana. Alluren. Yes. How does this card work again? Any player it's may cast a creature card with casting cost three or less. Ah. Well then. Recruiter of the guard. Yes. Trigger. I will go get the other recruiter. Well, Recruiter's pulling like, certain cards to the front. It's mm. like, work for me. You can be played for free now. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes all the recruiters get together at the, the conventions, you know. Mm. They become pals. They're pals. Uh, get Imperial Recruiter. Cast right. Imperial Recruiter. Okay. Get Dream Stalker. Mm -hmm. Cast Dream Stalker. All right. That's going to return Imperial Recruiter. Response. Sacrifice Zombie so, to shoot Imperial Recruiter. So this doesn't target. So you, so you can shoot Recruiter. Right. Okay. Yes, then we'll shoot Recruiter. Dreamstalker enters the battlefield. All right. Untap Blasting Station. Okay. Uh, sorry, I, I draw off mm -hmm. you targeting my Recruiter. I was trying to, trying to shortcut, but we can't okay. shortcut, so I have to randomize. Uh, draw off you targeting recruiter. Uh, recruiter's dead. Okay. Dreamstalker enters the battlefield. Yeah, that untaps. With the Dreamstalker trigger still on the stack. I, in response, activate Deathright Shaman uh, yeah. to exile. <sighs> recruiter, Fintorn Elves, Deathright Shaman, Caudal, Palace Jailer. I will exile the recruiter. Recruiter's out of here. Gain two life. Indeed. Shoot recruiter. Uh, trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, cast Phantasmal Image in response. Seven dicks. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, no, there's just the one. Just the one yeah. extra dick. I'll copy Recruiter of the Guard. Okay. Well, Death Rite's dead. Uh, this is dead. That untaps from this entering Recruiter of the Guard trigger on the stack? Yes. And this is all still in response to the Dreamstalker trigger? Mm-hmm. Where's the stupid card? I'm gonna go get Eternal Witness and witness back my recruiter. All right. And then I think I can do my own shortcut here. Okay. Game two. Yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, Leovold was uh, quite good that game. Yeah. I was hoping to be able to get him with the conscripts if I lived one more turn. Mm -hmm. But alas. <sighs> yeah, All I just, right. I just right. had a learn in my hand for like five turns, but I was just like drawing, ripping lands, and I didn't want to play it and let you like dump creatures so, so yeah well yeah exactly like Aluren isn't Aluren combos to kill you but I also get to do stuff when it happens right I I got that one mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. sometimes sometimes uh, creature heavy or... yeah against Aluren sometimes I might be able to pull something off but like, yeah blasting yeah. station's got to be one of your better cards in the matchup because I'm also just spewing creatures so you have you get the double triggers a lot oh yeah yeah but I just ran out of things to feed to it. Yeah, I got the got the combo with with Aluren. Mm -hmm. And even if I didn't get the combo there, I would have been able to kill Liliana, and then I had a oh yeah a, a large board. I was just able to keep you off creatures for the most part. Or I guess you your deck kept you off creatures. Yeah, I um that that Pontiff play was. Yeah, that, Super that was crucial. Yeah, early. that was brutal. Yeah, I just like drew it off the top and like uh -huh. one one a. Eh? Yeah, like <laughs> I mean, I was sitting on Cabal Therapy for a couple of turns, thinking like, should I just name Aluren? Do I just go for it? And then decided against it. But luckily, it turns which was out good, correct. Yeah, like getting being the Palace a, Jailer yeah. was probably important. But the first two cards I saw off my bugler were Imperial Recruiter and Palace Jailer, and I was just like. Uh, Hello. Hi. <laughs> well done, bugler. <laughs> uh, okay, I will play. It pains me to throw this hand back. <laughs> I shall keep. Uh, yeah, for the is there somebody in chat uh, for this round of the uh, Highlander League? Uh, we decided to have the players play uh, not keep the exact same decks for the entire time, but to at least uh, uh, keep the same basic archetypes for the uh, for the whole time. Mm. With, yeah, uh, uh, only sort of minor variations, and in fact. In this, between the second and third round, I think only Ben Wheeler actually changed his deck at all, because mm. most of the people were away at various uh, uh, packs and uh, Magic Fest Vegas and stuff, so there wasn't a lot of time for uh, deck reorganizing. Out of curiosity, why the Jace uh, Dreamstalker? Like uh, the Jace deck Dreamstalker? It's just the one I have. Oh, fair it enough. was actually a really annoying card to find. Really? Yeah. Oh. And I think that was just the one I was able to get. Like I think YJ was out. Mm. And so like I had to like like go through a, a friend's like box of random Highlander playables and huh. convince them to sell it to me. So Fair enough. Two, three, the best time to kill four, to try five. to kill a thing 
six. With Aluren is seven. when Cavern Harpy is on the stack. Hmm. No, but I want to keep all of these. Or do I? I'll keep. Okay. Okay. Ouch. Noble Hierarch. Indeed. I'll say go. I'll go for uh, Verdant Catacombs mm -hmm. and fetch. Get a Tropical Island and play a uh, Fintorn Elves. Go ahead. Okay. Um... Attack, exalted trigger. No blocks. Okay. 18 all. On the board. Thoughtseize. I have a Plague Engineer. Mm-hmm. A Wall of Blossoms. Mm-hmm. Corpse Knight. Corpse Knight, a new one. Core Sky Fisher. Bold. Tidehall Sculler. The Scullers. And a Scrubland. I mean, I think Skyfisher is might be like Corpse Knight is bad for me. Plague Engineer is bad for me. Um, you can Plague Engineer next turn, naming human. You can Corpse Knight. I think when Corpse Knight starts getting good, though, you basically already won. Would be my intuition. Tide Hollow Sculler is a problem. Corpse Skyfisher is also a problem. As like. Basically, Dream Stalker number two. That's it the does thing. Does not have flash. This is tricky. That's the thing about playing these kind of wonky decks like Aluren and even Aristocrats is it's if you don't play it and aren't too familiar with it, it's really difficult to tell, like which cards are the important cards. Yeah. Yeah, it's not necessarily... Oh, the... each opponent loses one life. Holy shit. That can go. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. I thought it was gains one life. Nope. Also, this is yours. It, uh, it womps. Scully C. The clamp. The clamps. All right. Go. Uh, Scrubland. Mm-hmm. Who man? Who man? Go ahead. Uh, is that permanent or just when it ETBs? Permanent. Permanent. Some bad lands. Cruel Celebrant? Yeah. Not a human. Never lucky. Give her the clamps. The clamps. Um, attack. Just, just played her. I did just play her, didn't I? You did. I totally did just play her. Go. Wall Blossoms. All right. Draw card. Well done. Guys, Cardinal. Woof. Make three. Okay. Uh, two left. Core Sky Fisher. Okay. Pick up this Wall of Blossoms. Okay. Cast this Wall of Blossoms. All right. Value. Feels like I'm playing Popper. Hmm. Go ahead. Okay. It's all that happens in Popper is Core Sky Fisher picks up things that let you draw a card. <laughs> uh, Misty? Yep. Crack Misty. And now, although now it gets to pick up Arkham's Astrolab, which is Oof. one mana instead of two mana. Not even playing Popper anymore. Well, yeah, I got to play Cradle to cheat on mana because Popper's just doing it more efficiently than I am. Find a Taiga. Like, <laughs> Popper's just got me beat. Yeah. 
I mean, how do you how do you respond to just commons? It's a cool card, right? Also a two three. Yeah, with flying. I, I mean, uh... and it would. In its limit, that that set had landfall. Yes. Yes. Although... Two three anthem my team kill you. Yeah. This uh. Of course, Cross Fisher was good in the limited format, but it was no Nighthawk. Mm. Just matches up really poorly against Nighthawk. Oh, which is yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah. I will block. I anticipated this. Um, I'll say go. Okay. On tap. Draw on a card. Pendlehaven. Oh. For value. All right. Um, Turns one ones into two threes? Yes. I will make four. Okay. Cast Elves of Deep Shadow. Mm -hmm. Three left. Cast Scavenging Ears. Oh, no. One left. I will attempt to eat your Noble Hierarch. Uh, hierarch is eaten. Hut. I will caca for two. I've been cacawed. Go ahead. Rather ignoble end for the noble hierarch. <laughs> end up oh, just being, being sucked up and pooped out by a scavenging ooze. <laughs> May I see Pendlehaven, please? This hurts us. <sighs> Carry Zev's expertise. Target. Targeting. I'll target the thin horned elves. Um, sure. Okay doesn't say I control, so... Yeah. Are you um, electing to do the... I will cast Perimir. Deal. Off of Carry Zeb's expertise. I will attach Skull Clamp to the Fintorned Elves. I'll pop it. Okay. I will tap the Fintorned Elves mm -hmm. to Skull Clamp Perimir. Yes. Kaboom. Um... I will shoot the Plague Engineer. Um, two creatures have died. You control. Yeah, okay. Oh, sorry, I control. Right. Yeah. I always have a hard time with these. No, there's um, like five of them and they all do like draw approximately card, the same. Draw two cards. Yeah. Approximately, but not exactly the same thing. I'm given to understand that this is yours. Indeed. Have a good turn. Uh, it is not untapped, however, which is somewhat relevant. Well, eat your parry mirror. Goodbye, friend. Untap. Draw a card. Um, make five. This is bad. I for have me. three left. I'll cast a militia eagler. Yep. Oh, that was a lot of lands. I did five again. Judge! <laughs> I don't know the order. Okay. My deck was otherwise random. Okay. I like, hardly looked at them. Judge! We modeled good behavior here. I just want this here. to be, fi be five, and I don't even know why. He did it again. It was literally the exact same thing. What? My opponent repeated the same error that they committed earlier in the match. <laughs> I mean, once is a mistake. People just kept telling me this card was good. <laughs> and you assume good meant look at five cards? I, I assume good meant mm -hmm. it was good. What should we know. do here? Please. I assume we... I, I Make me take no cards. Like, last time I was generous. Mm. Last time, 
but I mean, let Cam I mean, choose which one was the fifth card. That is that is getting closer. Is, is that's that getting, actually that's getting closer that's to the, the competitive Ariel level? Fix. Yeah. Uh, what's the what's I'm the revealing no cards. Ariel. You're revealing no cards, and you're shuffling them, so we can't we can't do that fix anymore. Well, I like immediately ripped five. None of them were creatures, and started oh. shuffling them because I'm supposed to randomize them and put them on the bottom. There are no creatures in these five cards. Okay. Not even. Not even creatures that just don't satisfy that clause. Okay, well, then, so it's, like, then it's not the biggest one there. All right, the easy fix here. The easy fix here is honestly, like, it's just... My deck was otherwise random. Yeah, it's just take one of these at random. Put it where it's supposed to be. And then and then continue continue the rest of the militia bugler. Yeah, and competitive, what's really neat, you have, mm -hmm. you have the hidden card error. Yeah. If there's ever more than one card from the incorrect zone, mm -hmm. what's happening in that case, you would get to pick which one we put back. Oh, interesting. So if, say, there was one creature in the five, you mm -hmm. can take the one creature, put it on top, and make a miss. Ooh. Yeah, it's as opposed to the old penalties where they'd just be like, game loss. Right, just, right, right. It, this is punishing, but it's meant to not, fix it. Yeah, not devastating. So yeah. still have three mana from Cradle. All right, we all good? Yeah, We're all good. Surge. Thank you, Surge. Uh, I will eat your Thoughtseize and my two creatures. Okay. Go to fight Scoos step. is very big. Uh, let's see. Pendlehaven can just buff something and True kill me. Story. No blocks. I will pump Elves of Deep Shadow. Six, eight, nine. Eleven. Eleven. I go to three. Whatever. You don't run Lightning Bolt. I'm fine. Um, I'll play Volcanic Island. Okay. And your turn. <laughs> Elves of Deep Shadow. Spider Man pointing at Spider Man. <laughs> um, the elves are. In each, Equip. Each, each in deeper shadow than Dead. the other. Drain you for one. Indeed. Draw two cards. Yes. All I want to do is draw myself into another land drop. Another land drop. All I want to be is someone who gets to see my fifth land drop. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, sometimes a pile of suboptimal cards that needs to operate in concert just doesn't get there. Um, I can't even complain about being mana screwed because like four is totally fine. Usually. Yeah, four is, four is kind of what I want more than this and I start feeling bad. Um... Unless you have exactly zealous conscripts in your hand again. <laughs> he can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> uh, your turn. Um, combat. Yep. Uh, attack you. Block scoos. This has Vigilance. This oh, can't right. attack. I didn't even equip the Skull Clamp. Uh, Skews has been blocked. Yes. Uh, proceed to damage. Uh, still die? Yes. Yes. Well, All thank right. you for the match, Chair. Thanks for the match. All right. Well, I hope you all learned something valuable today, chat, which is Zealous Conscripts is too much mana. <laughs> so, so uh, Jer, how much... Womp. How much of your uh, your playstyle there was influenced by seeing uh, Beige pilot the deck? <laughs> uh, I got to accredit a hundred percent of my wins today to Beach You're playing just like, it on. Oh on my Beach god! Lander. You've given me an entirely new perspective on and, this deck. Yeah. Uh, we we worked hard mm -hmm. and toolboxed the deck, mm -hmm. and uh, Beach said it was perfect, so I changed nothing. I mean that. <laughs> I, I trust Beej inherently yeah. on those kinds of judgments. When it comes to Highlander, you know, mm. level five Supreme Counselor for life, Beej, you know, yeah. can't, there's not a better source. 
I mean, I have it on good, on, on good authority that Beej was the one who was taking us back to Theros. I couldn't think who else to go. No, thank for that. Yeah, so. no, I... Yeah. Uh, what else? Good game. Thank you for the match. Yeah. Uh, we're going to my deck tech now, where you will see me talk with absolute command about this archetype. All right. Yeah. Um, so hopefully I don't make a complete fool of myself and say something like Zealous Conscripts is always a windmill slam include in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's very good in the It deck, is very good. So, like... uh, it's just like so more than three mana. It is a lot more than three. It is a lot more than three mana, which is important in the Alluren matchup, chat. Let this be a lesson to you. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll take a quick break, check out Cam's deck tech, and then we'll be back for our uh, final game of the, uh, of the evening, which, by the way, uh, will be... Uh, Alex versus Ben Ulmer. Mm. It will. All right. All right. Back in a sec. Hi, my name is Cameron, and I'm here to talk to you about the deck that I'm piloting for this summer's Highlander League. Uh, it is a strategy called the Aristocrats. I call it the Cleveland Browns because of its win record. You know, pilot error. Um, it is called the Aristocrats because it runs as its flagship cards a card called Falconrath Aristocrat. This card has a very important line of text on it, which is sacrifice a creature, colon, gain a powerful effect. Um, so that tells you a lot about this game plan. What it wants to do is run several of these creatures, several creatures who die well, and creatures that gain a secondary benefit when a creature dies. These are your aristocrats, your fodder, and your blood artists. So as for aristocrats, I'm running Falconrath Aristocrat, Butcher of the Horde, Cabal Therapist, Goblin Bombardment. These are all creatures or effects or cards that when played put your opponent on notice that they are about to take 16 in some way. The creatures who die well fit into several subcategories. You have Tide Hollow Sculler who does something incredibly greasy with the stack. You can exile him or sacrifice him when he's on the stack to permanently exile a card from your opponent's hand. I highly recommend doing it. It feels good. You have Carrie Zev's Expertise, which can steal opponent's creatures. I'm running several of these effects as well. You have Hanger Backwalker, who when it dies, releases a pile of tokens. And you have cards like Bloodgast that can die over and over again while being recurred. Um, as you can see, this makes the balance of the deck. Nice, thick stack right there. The Blood Artists are cards like Blood Artist, Judith, the Scourge Diva. Um, Judith is interesting in that she can actually ping when something dies, rather than draining. An important distinction with a lot of important utility. She also buffs your team, because when the going gets rough, the Aristocrats is fundamentally a deck that plays a lot of creatures, and sometimes they just have to turn sideways and get in there. Nobody's going to judge you. You may have noticed that I said that there were three broad categories of cards, and I've got six decks in front of me. One of them is lands. It's a four-color deck. It's, 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 it's expensive over there. Don't even worry about it. Um, the fourth category are your mana dorks. Acceleration. Getting out a Falconrath Aristocrat on three is a lot better than getting out a Falconrath Aristocrat on four. One extra turn is a whole lot of time for control to lock you out of the game or for combo to kill you. You have to get there quickly. So I'm running Birds of Paradise, Llanowar Elves, Avacyn's Pilgrim. All of these things um, do things that Moxon can't do, which is get under the bus. They can, they can get fed to an aristocrat and ping with a blood artist. That's what you need them to do. The fifth category are value. Things that the deck can't deal with otherwise, these cards have to deal with. Cards like Vindicate, Crackling Doom, Thought Seize, Colagan's Command. Good, solid cards that address problems that you're otherwise really going to struggle with. Uh, that's essentially the deck. The strategy is synergistic. It's fun. It's complex, deliciously complex. Um, getting wins with this, wonderful. Uh, 
But, you know, it, that complexity comes with a, 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 a high skill requirement on the pilot, which I am working on. Anyway, uh, all I want to do is make my opponents work for it and take wins off them when I can. That's, that's basically the strategy. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on stream. I'm T. Hi. Hi. Welcome, Welcome back. back. <laughs> it's it's Friday night. Yeah. Paper fight. Yeah. Uh, here on the Loading Ready Run International Network. Well, it's domestic as well. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it internationally broadcasts. We're playing. <laughs> we're playing some Canadian Highlander. Also, get all your uh, hair remarks up now because we're gonna be. Um. Mm -hmm. So, what happened in your round? Uh, so I was up against uh, Ben Wheeler. It was the Battle of the Bens, uh, and it was super close. It went down to game three. I had Exaxes in burn uh, spells in uh, in my hand. It was ready you to... You should call that the cigarette butt. Oh, yeah, and it was ready, it was willing, and negate. Um, he's got a, a pretty uh, hefty set of counter spells in there, doesn't he? Speaking yeah. Speaking of which, yeah. this was not the surge that I knew. I was like, guys ah, on lands. Do 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 do. Mana leak. Whoa, what in the lands deck? Mana leak, and All then right. I was like, okay, well, I'll just stick a threat. Spell snare. Really? Oh yeah, I lost. Huh. He um, he had just enough protection to like throw me off balance, and I would like I cannot keep up with the. Every once in a while, yeah, I noticed that Surge's deck has just like the perfect like accumulation. Like that's what happened to me. I remember, like, last, I think, last, whatever the last uh, session was where he went up against me and just had, like, he killed me on turn two, oh, yeah, he I just, think. He just tempoed me so hard. Yeah. Yeah, so. that's a lot. But now uh, this is the, the final on-camera match of of uh, the, the, the the Highlander League, the Summer League. Well, let's hope it's good. Yeah, so you and I are both aggro decks, and we haven't fought this entire one, so I'm, I'm intrigued to see how this goes. Uh, well, I kept a very bad seven. And you're first? Yes, yeah, I'm on the play. Well, let's see what happens. Let's rumble. Uh, Montagna. <gasps> oh, you sneaky hey. human. Uh, it's P3K lands. Is your whole deck that? No, no. <gasps> they're all different. I play Tay Tay. Wah! I love Taylor Swift. I'm, I am Wad. Pass. Let's go. You are somebody. You know that who I Taylor know. Swift loves? A polluted Delta? I mean, I don't I don't know her personally, but she, she could enjoy it. Oh, the bayou. Where she could she just <laughs> Taylor Swift goes down by the bayou. Bling 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 bling. Hey Taylor. Oh, D touch. Uh actually I need to use the big dice so every so y'all can see. Yeah. Go. I know what red decks like. Yeah. Three toughness. Uh, I do enjoy Don't. that. <laughs> Two. And pass. Okay. I'm having emotions about my keep there. I so. noticed you did not play a second land. Yes. That, uh... Seems suboptimally. Yeah, these things happen, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Another three toughness, eh? Uh, yeah. Woofa doofa, as the kids say. You're up. Killing it. Welp. Um, play a lava runner Ooh. and pass. Cha -cha -cha. You present me with an interesting conundrum. So this guy becomes a 2-2 if you 
have some stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna run out this Morn Willow. Yes. I do not have Delirium. Okay. Um, I am going to attack with this critter. The blocks. You're up. Four, yeah. Four. Go. Um. <gasps> Shock. Four. Pass. Okay, so... Sorry, I don't know if that hit the... Good old-fashioned It's shock. shock! It... It's a real shock. Tarmagoose! Woof. Uh, Instant sorcery creature land. Yep. Yeah. Um... Gonna thump you again for four. Twelve. Here you're up. Got the land. Um. Steering blaze. Oh! Deal through to you. That hurt. Boink, boink, boink. Oh, boy. Um. That's not me dead here, is it? No. I like that until, Go. like, the reprint in the master sets, mm. nobody even really knew what a Tarmogoyf looked like. Like, the picture on the the original Tarmogoyf card is very unclear. It's not actually that bad. It's just a little too dark. Mm, yeah. Like, there's actually, like, a, a clearly defined body and arms, but, like, because the printing is muddy, it has a jaw that goes, like, out and down into, like, with two mandibles. Yeah. I actually really... I know a lot of people had, like, like middling opinions on it, but I was, like... Totally fine with the uh, the Ultimate Masters. Uh, it was Ultimate Masters, right? Where they yeah. reprinted the new I mean, one. I, didn't, they've done I liked it, in, it. They've done it in a couple of the Masters yeah. sets. Well, but they had a new art oh, in oh, Ultimate Masters in it. And it was just like the saddest deer or the elk or whatever just running away from this thing. I think I went past what I was looking for. I hope I went I, past. I like all the arts, honestly. I think they're all fine, TM. You're fine. Oh, baby. Damn. There it is. Ah. Just going to do that end of turn, save myself another little shock. Makes sense. Untap as the bibliotech. You know what good girls and boys like? They like flying creatures. Yeah. I'll pass. <clears throat> hmm. Do you know what they say? All toasters. Toast, toast. Hmm. <coughs> it's a toughie, my dude. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to pass. Pass. How controversial. <laughs> mm. That means he's got you right where he wants you. Three. Uh, the box. Okay. No effects. Second main base. Yep. Yes. Okay. You're up. Do you like... Skull crack you on your end stuff? Yup! That's the butt kicking I gotta take. Oh boy, I'm skilled. Oh, I'm so skilled. Oh, I'm in roasting range. I don't like it. I don't think skull crack is an actual, like, magical spell. 
Like, what? Li- like lightning bolt is a spell. Right. Skullcrack is just hitting somebody with a stick. Well, you, uh, you pay the wizard, and he's just yeah. like, forget this. I'm going to get my cousin Steve to just hit him in the yeah. head with a hammer. Spells are a very loose sort of term yeah. for You're this. You're like, wizard, I paid you for a spell. And he's like, no, you paid me to hit the guy for three damage. Yeah. yeah. How I do that is up to me. <laughs> If that involves just paying somebody to hit him on the head, then that's Let's what I got to do. Let's go, Ben. Let's go. You have three cards in hand? Yeah. Hit it to the second right? Hmm? No, I'm at four. That's that's not going to work. Excellent. Uh-huh. That's whenever I cast a, cre- a spell from my... Graveyard. Okay. Uh huh. Go. Go, you say. Untap. Draw. That's a lot of mana. What you got? What you got? Come on! Okay, so two and then four? Right? Yes. That's yes. how math works. And it's each attacking. Okay. You're up. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, no, I think I have it. It's really coming down Hellspark? to the wire. Uh-huh. Uh, combat. Yeah. Take one. Two. Right, okay, so he's big. Mm-hmm. Uh, am I blocking wrong? So I go to two? Yeah. Please, God, don't have a shock. Don't even have a lava dart. Okay, you don't have shock, but there's other shocks. Pass. Pay for packed. Right, yeah, there we go. Thank <laughs> <laughs> that, that you. Was like, when, when, when your try. entire line is just like, maybe he'll forget. Yep, worth yeah. worth going for it. Play your outs. Oh yeah, that's not even bad. Like if I draw a card, I die. Yes. Yeah. It's one of those scenarios where like, in in in, in any of the, any other scenario, I'd be like, no, you got it, kind of a thing. When that one is like, no, that's a, that that's a very legit line. Oh yeah. I mean, there's been pro tours one like that. Yeah, I uh, so a couple. I saw chat like sort of uh, go go uh, wild when uh, they saw that I missed my land draw. Wait, the pack only got changed. What do you mean? You draw a card, you're dead. How? Huh? Yeah, whatever. I mean, well, but, I'm just curious. Yeah, yeah, I'd be curious to see how it goes, but um. Uh, my hand was literally all one drops and two drops, so it was one of those ones where, with a one lander, especially with three one drops and three two drops, it was like it's not that bad. I felt comfortable keeping it, but there's just a couple of bad draws. So, wow. <laughs> 
your opponent yeah. just decides, it's like, wait, I've had an, an epiphany. Maybe Magic the Gathering isn't all it's cracked up to be. No, that couldn't be it. You just rush out into the street. It's the cards that are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Am I losing my touch? I will keep this. I think. Yeah, I'll keep it. I will not. Hmm. I'm on the play ice. Oh, girl. That one lander was a lot less keepable. Yep. Well, what I mean about Pro Tour is there was a guy who boarded in um, Fairy Macabre okay. and lost against uh, a matchup that Fairy Macabre would have dug him out of with it in his hand. Oh, really? Oh, it was so sad. Just because of land? Or, like, well, no, 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 just... Or... No, Fairy Macabre is a card you can pitch it to exile cards from your opponent's graveyard. Right. And he boarded it in... I don't remember what he was against, but it was something where... Instant, uncounterable graveyard disruption would have saved him. Yeah. And he he lost with it in hand because he forgot to use it. That honks. Yeah. That's the big honkaroo. Yep. That's a spicy Cornish. Well, no, that's a that's a big old undercooked dung pie. Yeah, wow, so it's hard to not swear. So apparently, yeah. the the ruin the 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 ruling for the uh, um, the packs now is that. Uh, you can be reminded, and then like you would be reminded, and you can play it. But if at the point where you've been reminded and have to do it, you've already like cast the spell, yeah. you may not actually have the mana to pay for the pact. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, Hello. Hey. What's up? <laughs> uh, Cam's deck was uh, missing a card from the looks of it. Oh man, now I just want Cam to like go into the other room and just play that card. <laughs> yeah. You ready to rumble? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Goblin Guide! Oh, you old Rift Bolt. Yes. Mm -hmm -hmm. Go. Uh, you can have another one of those, champ. Oh and boy. So, that was weird. For a brief moment, it was a Tatter Munch Maniac. Man? But it got bigger. Yeah. Thorny. Oh, well, hold on. That's are you, rude. Are you gonna counter it? No, no. I Go. Just, but that butt is so big. Uh, two threes for two are secretly very good in this format. Yeah, that honkaroos. Um, so let's go. Such, such length. Tar fire to it. Uh, I will make a one one green. Homie. Right. Uh, Tarfire doesn't kill it as a heads up. Oh, no, it marks damage, but yeah. I have a homie. Uh, forgot about that. You play actual Lava Dart. Yeah. That's. I'm proud. Fuck me. Uh, <laughs> forgot about that. Oh, I just fucking ruined my <laughs> pass. Oh, that sucks so much. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. One year. I am so fucked. Ben. Ben. Yep. <laughs> I thought you were doing a bit. No. Uh... <laughs> well, it was nice working for loading ready. <laughs> uh, I look forward to uh, whoever takes my spot. Uh, boop boop. Whoa, that's a good one. Go ahead. Ah, that honks. <laughs> Unos. Dos. Yeah. Go. <sighs> wow, you just have literally everything that destroys <laughs> me here. Um... You don't play flying creatures. 
I don't. No, you're right. I'll pump him. He's no longer pumped. Is it? it it's just the attack that gets pumped. Yeah, it's in. only the attack. Yeah. Oh, shocking. Shocked. You're up. Uh, fire drinker slater. Ooh. Pass. No box. Did I get both 15? Yep. Okay, I'm um, thinking. <sighs> Yete. Yep. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Oh yeah. Um, yep. Uh-huh. And gut shot. Holy schmoly. I got it. Okay. Yeah. That sure does happen. Um, um combat. Okay. Yep. This one. You did Go. get in for four that time. Bayou. Um, John Madden. John Madden. Uh, this one for two. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Are you doing it for three? No, it's for two. Oh, wait. I can pay for three. Yep. Yeah. I did say two. Yeah, hey, go for three. That's okay. fine. I'm not going to do about it. Uh, what's green one that I can get? For? I might still go for two, actually, but... Oh, what's a good green three drop in my colors? Hmm. Actually going for two. Okay. Seems go. good. You're up. Ron Pricks. Drop? Yeah. Or... Yeah, you got it. Monkey House. Yep. Um, equip this Yate. Oh. Yeah, that sounds about right. He's toasty. Um, I think if I had gone to the face at this point, like, I mean, it wouldn't have, like, because magic happens, but, like, go. wasted so much burn. Seal of Fire. Wake up, monkey house. Yeah. Monkey house gets a stick. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. yeah. You're up. Uh... Combat. Yep. Go. Um, wake up, monkey house. Yep. Yeah. Give it a stick. Yep. Three. Uh, go. Go. Sorry, somebody's correcting me. They're apes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if Monkey House steals the Dean's Jitte again, they'll lose their charter for sure. Um. Let's do this yeah. fetch here, go to 16. Yeah. I'll get basic forest, I think. The apes live in a monkey house. It's just how it works. Yeah, because they kick the monkeys out. Because <laughs> they're bigger. That's true. Um, I'll equip to GTA and attack. And then pump twice. If there's no effects, yeah. So go to what? Uh, zero. Oh, is it plus two plus two? Yeah, this uh, card's really, yeah. really yeah, stupid. Dead. Yeah. 
It's like, okay, you know what? We'll have it... Because mm, I realized way too late that Plus I two, plus two. Yeah. And it'll nug creatures, and you'll gain life. I realized way too late that I could have killed it, but... <laughs> Wamp. Oof, oh, that 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 was a that was a rough last game. Oh well. I I feel I feel like a lot of uh, games involving GTA also involve the player with the GTA uh, apologizing for apologizing cards it dumb. and, and yeah. cards dumb and stupid and, and hey. a mistake and sympathizing with the other player. It's pointed and stuff. I mean, I'm running a Black Lotus, <laughs> so it's like that's it's all even in the end. So the one card that I was really hoping to get on coverage that I didn't get to that I'm a little sad about. Go on. Oh yeah. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Die! <laughs> wow, that's a that's yeah. a spiteful card. Holy that's, moly! Um, that's uh. All permanence. Discard your hand. Take a play. Loser Card's not one. good. Just and FYI. That's, and that's part of the cost too, that's a right? Bonk. So if it yeah. gets if it gets countered, you still have. To oh, do if all it gets that? countered, you are. Oh. So that's saying you sacrifice all yes. permanence. Right. Okay. It's like, I put this on the stack, I wipe out my board, dump my hand. Does it resolve? Yeah, that seems pretty tight. Yeah. I so. dig it. Uh, so that was uh, that was the end. That was the final matchup. Uh, we've got uh, some standings and whatnot to see who is the winner. But before we do that, because we like to leave everything on a cliffhanger, we got uh, my deck tech. So we're going to show off the... Uh, the deck tech of uh, RDW, and then when we come back, we will announce our winner. So don't go away, friends. More magic -y times after this. Hello, friends. Ben here to talk to you about uh, red deck wins and uh, how to count to 20 because that's kind of what the deck is all about. And if they manage to gain one life, well, the game's over at that point. I guess you just can't win it from that. No. And the 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 main thing to kind of talk about, because, I mean, it's more than just trying to jam your deck full of the most lightning bolt-esque kind of cards that you can. There's there's a couple... There's more of a nuance to, to RDW. And um, the, the main kind of concept, besides counting to 20, is coming out the gate strong. Um, and consistently putting your opponent on the back end so that they have to make suboptimal decisions uh, that can, you know, eventually get you to the point where you're able to steamroll over top of them. Um, and so a lot of the time, uh, uh, most red deck uh, wins kind of uh, style decks will actually play, um, it kind of has like a hate berry sort of feel uh, where instead of hate, like instead of your traditional hate bears, you'll just run hate cards like uh, Sulfuric Vortex. Um, I like cards like this that um, put some sort of punishment on an opponent and puts an inevitability uh, in the game. Uh, and cards, cards like Sulfur Sulfuric Vortex uh, add this inevitability that the game is going to end shortly if nobody can deal with this. Uh, whether it's you dying or your opponent, who knows. Uh, and so you've also got similar cards that are in that vein like uh, Blood Moon. Blood Moon is my favorite card to run in RDW. Some lists I think have migrated away from it, but the the big thing about our the meta at least at the office here is a lot of people are running three four five color decks um and blood moon really hoses that um it's why uh cards like price of progress for example um are are probably it's probably one of the most powerful cards in this deck i have just straight up domed somebody for like 18 damage because they're just running nothing but duels and non-basics and stuff so um, it really kind of helps you turn the table because obviously um, with sort of the curve that this deck has, which is quite on the low end, you do run out of cards fairly quickly. Um, so cards that can kind of get you some sort of adv card advantage and uh, keep the things uh, rolling uh, are quite important. So that's why I, I run a copy of Skull Clamp in this deck. It lets you um, turn your creatures into bigger beaters if they have a higher toughness than one. And if they don't, after they've done their duty, they can do their final rights and draw me two cards. Uh, and a lot of those times, those two cards can be more than enough to close out the game. Um, I, uh, speaking, kind of continuing on the um, hate cards kind of list, I run both uh, Eidolon of the Great Revel as well as Ankh of Mishra. Both of these do different things. Eidolon um, really punishes a low-costed creature 
uh, decks or creature spells, so like things like Storm and whatnot have a really, really big time, hard time with Eidolon. Um, and Ankh of Mishra really punishes uh, the land-heavy decks. Um, if we're talking about our meta, um, you know, Ankh of Mishra really harms decks like Surge's land deck. Um, and Eidolon can really be bad for decks like uh, Jeremy's, who uh, combos off and plays a lot of low drop creatures in that way. Um, the deck, as I mentioned, has like a very low curve, but I do like throwing in sort of pet cards and heavy parentheses. So I do run Chandra Torch of Defiance. Um, it's Red's Jace the Mind Sculptor. I love this card so much. It's one of my favorite magic cards. Um, it just does all kinds of things, as well as sort of have that. Um, that 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 card draw engine thing where even if i'm drawing into lands and stuff um i can still you know dome somebody for two shocking somebody is not a bad thing at all and this is the 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 maximum that my curve kind of comes out and so talking about the lands is a little bit important because i know that a lot of people i've certainly seen people ask questions like why do you run fetches in a uh mono color deck and the main reason for that like i run like arid mesas and uh, uh, wooded foothills and bloodstained mires and such um, is it kind of acts like two lands in your deck while simultaneously um, not harming helping you not flood out because the main thing is like I said uh, my curve is very very small so I only want to draw a couple lands and then the rest of it I just want it to be all gas so if I play a bloodstained mire not only is this a mountain effectively when i crack it it gets rid of another land out of my deck and i don't run that many lands in this and so the idea is to thin out the deck as you've probably heard um, and that will enable more of my draws to hypothetically i'm not, not a statistic major but hypothetically uh should make it so i don't draw as many lands uh as uh, as i would if i were running um non fetches and just all mountains and whatnot um, a couple of last really exciting things that I like in this, uh, Rampaging Ferocidon, again, kind of continuing on those um, hate kind of cards. They really do, um, uh, th these cards are really, really great, punishing people uh, for making reactive um, um, moves towards your game plan in RDW is quite helpful. Uh, you know, this does everything you want. It makes them not gain life, it pings them, it's got menace on a 3-3 three, three body, like Rampaging Frostodon is terrific. And then you just run like lots of, you know, very effective creatures, Goblin Guide, um, Fanatical Firebrand, you know, one drops with haste, even cards with like significant downside like Jackal Pup. Um, it's still a 2-1, for one, you're playing this on turn one and you're just jamming on and you're turning everything sideways and uh, and really giving your opponents the gears. Um, for those curious what my points are, because there's a number of ways you can do it, uh, I've kind of come down on Lotus and uh, Mox as my two uh, points, or, or my, my points in the deck, the Lotus is seven and the Mox is three. Um, and so that it, it, really it's just because uh, it, I think getting out the gate super fast is very, very, very helpful. If you're able to, you know, turn one Lotus uh, and just like instantly throw down Mages of the Moon or instantly throw down uh, an on crop crash or an idol on and shock them or something like you're just you're getting s you're getting out the gate so quickly. And, and it, a lot of the times it's really, really hard for folks to come back from something like that. Um, I've kind of made a, a wham jangle mess here, but um, I've been a, I've been a fan of RDW for a really long time, and I think what's really great about it is it is a budget friendly deck that you can also take um, and and amp it up because obviously saying budget and Black Lotus in the same sentence seems a little wiggy, but it is a lot of fun and it is a great way to jam a whole bunch of games. It's been doing all right in this uh, Highlander league, and uh, I only hope it c I continue to become a better. RDW player and maybe this has helped you so uh yeah thanks for watching this thing <laughs>
Well, Ben had a Tarmogoyf. And there was a Thing in the Ice involved. A Jace. A Time Walk may have been cast. N crucial Nimble Obstructionist. Fact or fiction. Uh, and anyways, our, our game one took a bit of time. Whereas uh, Red smashing its face into Golgari smashing its face. Quick match. Quick match. Slower match. Slower match. Much slower. Uh, more intricate. Uh, a little finer. But uh, we're in game two. I took down game one. And if I win this match... We are tied. We're tied. If I win, I become the only, the first ever two-time FNPF Canlander champion. If. But this five-card hand is... <laughs> reasonable on the draw it's nothing to phone home about but you know it's it's not bad so we're the the tiebreaker is based off of our game, game win, win percentage. percentage and surge was adamant that we have some way of having a decided winner or we're going to cut the prize in half live on stream or um, we're going to play uh high roll high roll rock paper scissors coin flip best two out of three best two out of three uh, to not decide the results of a match, uh, just, you know, to for fun. To decide the decide results of, of nothing. Uh, of nothing, because there's nothing to decide. Hey, any, everybody, uh, let's play Magic. Uh, Jeremy's on the play. He's got a Go. Temple Garden. Ooh. All right, show me what you got. I got Please. a Court of Calling, uh -huh. a Plateau, uh -huh. a Bone Shredder, uh-huh. A Parasitic Strix. Uh-huh. A Tropical Island. Uh-huh. And a Spellseeker. Mm. All right, let me... Let me... <laughs> there was a lot of three drops in there with ETBs that... It's all a blur. Spellseeker, Strix, Shredder, Cord, Plats, Trop. Okie doke. Uh, I'll draw a card. And for my next trick, I'll play a Botanical Sanctum. Uh, and then cast a Preordain. One, two... I hate these cards. I never want to see them ever again. They'll never work in this town again. Pass. Listen, kid, you're good, real good. But as long as my cards are around, they'll always be second pass. See? Go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Powerful. Uh, I'll play island and pass. Island and pass? Mm. Two for one. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll play Parasitic Strix. It worked once. <laughs> um, I don't know how I feel about this bird. I think I'm... It's, it killed you once. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm worried about it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Bird is the word. Hmm. I'm going to play a Deep Root Champion. And then I'll pass the turn. <clears throat> Wall of Omens. Oh, that's what we like to see. Get my pen Two, yeah. 16. Go ahead. Draw. Okay. Maybe I'm, I'm... I may be rethinking some of the decisions I made with where cards go. This is fine. How many lands did you put on the bottom, Ben? I don't want to talk about How many of them are red? A couple. How many were <laughs> red? One. Only one this time. Only one. Uh, I'll attack. Uh, I block. Sure, that's fine. I'll pass. Uh, I attack. I go to 14. Uh, I cast... Maybe nothing. An attack. Um, whatever I cast will certainly be in defense mode. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, People are hearing about how powerful this format is, how Canlander has so many different things, and then they tune in and they see Parasitic Strix, Wall of Omens, Deep Root Champion. <laughs> uh, yeah, trigger. Memory Go. lapse that spell seeker to the top. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is exactly what I like to see. I kind of just want to beat face. And then a Homelands card. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? 
Uh, let's NFL crunch time. I'm going to scale up my deeper champion. Sure. Uh, and it gets a counter. So it's a 6-4 and has two so counters it's an 8-6. It. Yep. Uh, let's hit you for 8, ideally. Uh, yeah, 14. Oh, block. Hell yeah. Uh, go. My bird knows only the yeah. fight. <laughs> All right, 12. Surprise, Crawworm. I will race. Crawworm, Spellseeker. I didn't see you there. Uh, Yarp. Uh, Find a bird spirit, nice. I wish. Uh, like, we're probably just on this one, except we can't this cast is peak it. Magic. All right, I know what one I'm getting. <laughs> I know what I'm getting. Please, not a good one. It's probably not the one you most wanted to see. Mm, that's a good one. I would describe it as good. My hand doesn't really match up super well against that. Um, so I'm pretty sure I have eight cards. <laughs> okay. I, I will have an effect at end step. All right. Proving yet again that we are truly playing peak magic. <laughs> unsummon I will unsummon my your win Drake, please. <laughs> Hey, it's got additional card types. I this card is so bad in this matchup. I was like, mm, I guess I can unsummon this wall of omens. Uh, I anything. had seven cards, so I only have to discard one. Nailed it. Look at that removal spell. Uh, all right. So I have five cards in my hand. I can't cast. This is unsummon and um, uh, what's the charm? Funeral charm. Funeral all in charm. one. Jeez. Uh, let's get this plague engineer out of here. Oof. Go ahead. Yoink. Mm. Yeah, I will attack. Uh, no blocks. Take four. Sixteen. Goat. Who will draw land first? Find out next time. Attack. Uh, ooh, 11. I no like fear. it, I like no it. No fear. Merfolk trickster. Uh, Parasitic strength. Yeah, you got a bird. Go. <laughs> we play a weird game. <laughs> uh, no, play, he uh, drew the uh, land. Yes. Never lucky. Now for my next trick. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh... What's well, NFL crunch time? And I'm going to play my invitational card. Uh, some chimps. <laughs> A group of <laughs> chimps. <laughs> and then I'll pass. Um, Actually, I don't know if mandrels are chimps. Chat? I'll attack. Yep. Uh, I go to nine. I mean, it says they're apes. Well, um, as a creature type, but I don't know. That's not. I don't think that's like. Uh, I'll attempt to neoform this trick. Scientifically, I will negate. Okay, go ahead. You don't know if. I, I I don't know if like uh, Wizards of the Coast actually like consults with a biologists to find out the, the scientific classification of these animals. I believe the uh, scientific term is "damn dirty ape." Any any gamers get that? Me? Charlton has no. Cyblast me? Uh, I'm gonna Cyblast this. Hold on. It's not lethal, right? You're at 12? Oh, I thought I was at 9. My bad. No, I'm at 9. Right. But I'm not actually, I just real. I, I swear to God, I'm not trying to BM you, but I do have this regenic <laughs> growth. I swear, wow. I swear to God, wow. I wasn't trying to BM you. Everyone saw this it. This happened twice. Every, it's on stream. No, I ben. swear to God. I swear it's to God. On Ta stream. I swear to God. I'm this trying happened. to scoop. I, and then Ben's like. Oh, you're not dead. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Maybe I can't. Okay, I did this to Ben too. He so, he had the vortex in play. He had sulfuric vortex, and he shows me his hand. He's like, oh, I'm just dying to my old vortex, and he had a price of progress. And I was like, No, no, no. Vortex trigger on the stack. You can price of progress. And he's like, Oh yeah, I guess I could like draw the game. I'm like yeah, but I have all these counters. But I was just like, Oh sh! I no, I'm not trying to. I, I swear to God, it's it's just my upbringing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to dunk on you. It's no, just, hey, hey, I'm used to it. I'm just so good. I'm so used. you had to go and win. 
I need a look. I... Now, now this really complicates everything. If Jared had won, we'd have a nice, clear winner. And now I have to. Would you to do... like to concede? No. Now I have to do math. Let me get a chair. Look, I'm fairly certain Jared has beat me on camera all but Here. like maybe twice. Thank you. I gotta get my mutagenic growth related beats in while I can. Sorry, that wasn't that, oh that wasn't actually helpful in any way, was it? I love musical <laughs> chairs. Oh. <laughs> oh hell yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> you just dream crushed on camera. Say the line, Cameron, say the line. <laughs> I don't I, I haven't actually seen this is from Endgame? So, you <laughs> bottom text. <laughs> uh, I like the stream already. Oh, well. All okay. right. So, the it's best. Cute. I'm really sorry I ruined your bit. Cameron put a chair down. I'm like, oh, let me move this out of the way. And Cam, so Cameron's like, what shot. are you doing, you move, I got so much so, real estate over here. So, should we look at the standings? See where we are? All right. Yeah, let's put the, let's put the standings up here just as, a, just as an update. So, uh, well, yeah, let's see. So... This is this is where we were this at the beginning of the session at uh, the beginning of the day today. Uh, oh yeah, between uh, Serge and Cam, who won there? Cameron, yeah. Cameron in three. Hey, I updated hey. the spreadsheet. Hey, alrighty, uh, and then yeah, let's see let's see where we are now. That's yeah. high. We got the Ben Ben Wheeler, Jeremy White, Alex Stacy, Ben Ulmer, Serge Yeager, and uh, Cameron there. Nice. So, 18, 18, 15, 12, 12. Okay, fine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, yeah, you, that, you, you, you did real good, Cam. No, you know what? I don't even care anymore, <laughs> Paul. Oh, Cam. No. All right. So here's what we need to do. We need to see if there is a clear winner. Uh -huh. And the best way I can think to do this is to look at the win percentage okay. from the previous weeks uh so our game win percentage. game win percentage so in week one wait hear me out we could just say tie goes to current champion nope no 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 no, no. all right so in week one round wasn't one beat. wheeler and jer both won in three tie this is a bad start this is a bad start week two wait what well round two Round Not two, weak. pardon me, round two, Wheeler and Jer, both one and three, we still have a tie. Round three, week one, Jer one and two, and Wheeler lost. Oh. Advantage Jer. Oh no. Go, we have the first time somebody didn't win in three. All right, so advantage Jer by one point. Week two. No, but he, he lost. Yeah, but your record's the same, so we have to figure out, oh, you lost in three? He, he lost in two. So you, we have to total up the total oh, number the total of number games of played. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 2-1, two, 2-1. One, two, one. Uh, next we have you lost in three, Jer won in two. So... The second week? Okay. This is, this is the... Sorry, this is the third game. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 so, okay. So week one, week one, there it's 2-1 for both, 2-1 yeah. for both. Okay. And then next Jer goes, went 2-0 two, two, oh, oh, and I went 1-2. One, two. One, two. Okay. Now okay. we go to week four. Uh-huh. Uh, Jer, yeah, O two'd. Okay. Wheeler two o'd. Okay. Week five, Jer, O two'd. Wheeler two o'd. Okay, you're saying week five? It's round. You round five. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait. And, oh, so round five, Jer O two'd. I two o'd again. Yeah. Round okay. six. And then Jer two one. Yeah. Wheeler one two. Okay. Yeah. Round seven. Okay. Jer two one. Yeah. Wheeler one two. Okay. Oh my. Round eight, yeah. Jer two o, yeah. Ulmer, oh sorry, Wheeler two one, yeah. So it looks like Jer's pulling ahead here by a bit. I don't think so. There are a no, few no, where no, Ben no. went two o, I went o two, and then finally in the ninth round where we are right now, Jer, o two, and Wheeler two o. No, I, uh, I so I I won one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen games. Yeah. Jero won 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But I also played fewer. Played fewer games? Yeah, yes. I think so. So it's game uh, win percentage, right? So it's total actually, number of games we here. won. Oh my god. Oh, why is it so hard? Well, this should have just... We played. Now, we just split? 
Now, How many yeah. judges? Let's just, Let's split. just split. So we have an L2 judge, an L1 judge, an L1 judge. Normally, in a, in a normal thing, uh, there is a system that handles all of this. So when you go to your cut for your top eights and stuff like that, the system figures it out. Serge, you chose the worst way to do this. All right, count the losses. We'll count the losses and that'll be it. All right, let's put How everything How many losses has Jer had? Wait, what? We have it right here. So Jer lost. May I? I have 10 losses. Ben has nine. 10 losses, nine. How are we doing this? This is, I mean, I'll take the win. Wheeler always takes the win. We tied on points. Yeah. Well, as the winner of season two, I can only wow. thank my trusty Tarmogoyfs, my Terramander, hashtag trans rights. So if Ben uh, has my, more wins and fewer losses, yeah. Now I'm a little worried about this prize. Oh, right. So I prepared a prize this time. Why are you reaching into your pants? Uh, it's not my pants. It's my, my hoodie pocket. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, that's all right. Carry on. Uh, and I got you, I think, quite possibly the best thing that I can give you from the heart. Uh, and it's coffee related. It's this extremely suspicious vial of instant powdered coffee. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, why is this so suspicious? Um, Should I be worried? Yes. Why? What's in here? You coffee. See, is this poop? We no. wouldn't, Wait, have, been, I be we wouldn't have been suspicious, in, in, except that you said it was suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> Am I going to die? I have key powder. What's all going, going on? Die, ben. What? Is, oh, oh, I know God. that. Yeah. Um, can't, aren't we all already kind of dead? I mean, so, Sylvia Plath sends the word in the Tibetan. We're all we're all dying, but not the way that I died in this league. I mean, I'll never die. <laughs> oh, so geez. it's it's very it's very important to note that the prizes here are about as important as the stakes, which have been never been lower except for slightly higher in this one. All right, I have an important question before I try to argue further. This tie. Okay. Do we still get loser ice cream? Ice so you Wheeler. you bought ice cream for us, right? I did. Okay. I I bought. I ice will cream. buy loser ice cream. All right, I'm down to lose. That's right. fine. I so will... our winner and the person responsible for purchasing every other competitor ice cream, we crown Benjamin Wheeler, uh, the winner of the Canadian Highlander Summer League. Congrats to our champion. Enjoy your coffee and as well. And to celebrate my victory, I'm going to slam all this right now, baby. Please, please don't. <laughs> nope, I won't. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> Some of it. Some, not all. Yeah. Some of it. Some, <laughs> Some of it. Some of it. Uh, so, <laughs> friends. Nice synchronicity. Yeah, that was... We got in real quick. Yeah, thank what you. you. What do you guys do every Wednesday? Do you want to start like a like a, a barbershop... Uh, Quartet where you just chant things? I was going to say triplet because okay. there's three of us who are on key and one person but, trying um, to interrupt, but... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go Ooh, ahead. Ooh, <laughs> burn. All right, business. <laughs> yep. Thank you for watching the Highlander Summer League. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you really enjoyed the addition of deck techs. Uh, they were fun to do. We wanted to give more context. Uh, additionally, um, let us know if you're watching a YouTube video or hit us up on Twitter what you thought of us keeping the same deck list versus random deck lists of the previous one. We will be back with more Highlander Leagues. These have been a lot of fun. And if there's things you enjoyed or things you enjoyed less, definitely let us know. And we'll uh, we'll do our best to keep improving on this because it'll be a lot of fun. And we really like bringing you <coughs> the best of Powerful Magic because we love this format. And that's rad. Uh, for some wrap-up stuff, a reminder that Friday Night Paper Fight is brought to you with the support of Card Kingdom over at cardkingdom.com slash LRR. That's an affiliate code that lets us know that we sent you there. And if you say, Lonely Ready Run sent me button, please... Uh, if the pin says something, something I concede, in, uh, in response, I concede. I thought... No, in fact, no, it no, does change it. Yeah, yeah. It, they ran out, apparently, oh. during this uh, thing. Hey. And so it now says, uh, symmetrical effects oh. are fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my kind of magic. Like a the, Lurin. Yeah. The card, symmetrical and fair. The card says balance. <laughs> it's right there in the card title. I don't, I don't get what you understand. Each player! Yeah. <laughs> uh, remind and you're down a card for playing it. Uh, also, reminder that uh, Friday Night Paper Fight is brought to you by your support over at the Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Uh, a reminder that we have recently done a grand forking of our YouTube. So if you're looking for the replay of this, if you're joining late, it's going to be at the LRRMTG YouTube channel, not on Loading Ready Live. So if you're not already following that channel, find it on YouTube <laughs> and give that a subscribe. That's the YouTube word for a follow? Uh, yeah, follow. Like, follow, and subscribe. Smash that. Smash subscribe. that like Smash button. Smash that subscribe, subscribe button. button. Gamers. Excellent. And the little bell thing. Yeah, there's know. the little yeah. bell, too, for <laughs> notifications. Am I, am I right, gamers? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and if you're looking forward to more magic, a uh, reminder that on the 20th, we have Loading Ready Run presents the Throne of Eldraine pre-release -pre with wonderful humans, Pleasant Kenobi, 
Olivia Gobert Hicks. Uh, we got the Magic Streamer, Jamie Topples. And from Wizards of the Coast, we have Daniel Holt, as well as a fine mm. presentation of Lure Humans. Mm. Uh, so look forward to that, and that'll be good Is it times. Going to be uh, you and Nelson doing the judging for that as well? I hope so. <laughs> I mean, it could be you and Jer. Hmm. I did the last one solo. Right, because I got to play in it. That's which true, is, yeah. Which is such a different change. Yeah, it's going to be hard to convince, you know, Vince not to swear, but we'll, we'll do our best. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good luck. Yeah. We're in courage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Depends uh, if I'm judging or not. Uh, so, any other housekeeping <laughs> for this, Paul? There's a laundry list. I'd like to think I hit most of them. Uh, yes, I, I believe you hit all the things. Uh, although, uh, just to... Mentioned coming up uh, tomorrow, we got uh, Adam's Game House. Yeah. Mm. We're just going to be playing some Persona. Persona 5. Uh, and then we got uh, Rhythm Cafe on Sunday. And then on uh, Monday, we have uh, the returning uh, Paranoia campaign. Uh, D&D, or not D&D. Paranoia campaign with uh, Dale and Ian and... Cor uh, no, Dale and Ian... And our Beach and Jacob. Beach, Jacob, and Kathleen. Kathleen. Oh. Yes. Yes. So uh, that should be a lot of fun. Check that out on Monday and uh, <laughs> check out the live page, uh, loadingrerun.com slash live. That's going to have your schedule for all the things uh, going forward. So, and uh, we should also welcome people who subscribe during the stream. Yeah. E Starting with Wheeler. Oh, well. Starting with Lord Ink Death 27 for 31 months. Holy smokes, thank you. SDA Bruce Lee. Thank you very much for that brand new subscription. Welcome. Stacko84 for four months. Thank you. Booster6 has come back for the 40th month. Thank you. Colonel Kreiner for 29 whole months. All of them. Is to be. Thank you for 33 fractions of months. Appreciate you. For 25 months, we have Dark Lord Foamy. Thank you. Simriel is returned for the 22nd month. Thank you. Well, would you look at that if it is an old Grim Everdark back for four months. Caffeinated Lemur, my favorite kind. Thank you for 73 months of support. That is such a big number. <clears throat> Burning Giraffe, oh one for five months. Falgar has returned for the 35th month. <laughs> Croc, I'm not thanking you, but four months, that's a lot of time. Croc, please. Loot much. Thank you for 54 months. Card Kingdom, <laughs> gifted by Card Kingdom. Eye Valence. Oh, I love it. A literal kingdom of cards. Stage manager Rob has come back for the 21st month. Thank you. Garrick, predator of Scrubs. Sorry, I didn't do the the, the breaks. Uh, for learn. 12 months. You'll That's learn. like a year. Yeah. And Garrick's back. It's in, uh, very thrown. Yeah. yeah. Just like right through that door. Like some body. body. <laughs> hey, what's up, Blue Jay? Uh, thank you very much to the Ninjure for gifting them a sub. Appreciate you. For four months, we have bl Broccoli Rob. Underrated veggie. Oh, oh, great broccoli. Great. Cheryl is back for the 51st month. Thank you. Nickel underscore pause bolus is new subscriber exclamation mark. Cuttlefish man, thank you for 32 months of support. Oh, Cyber Colossus <laughs> for 22 God, months. I, I totally just so... spaced there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Houseboy23 has come back for the fourth month. <laughs> Where, you. Where'd you go? Was it good? <laughs> the <laughs> Thromber. You don't want to know. I was for 21 months. So <laughs> Mr. Polly K, thank you for 22 months of support. Appreciate it. An addled mind. Brand new sub. Welcome <clears throat> to the channel. Aw. Oh. She has returned for the 47th month. Thank you. Naranax for five whole months. Sore finger. The. Wizard. Thank you for seven months of support. It's very important to voice the unders underscores. The Real Dash Dude, another brand new sub. Welcome so much. <laughs> White Stuff Gbuh is a brand new subscriber. Welcome to the channel. Ah, yes. Scoot Bacoon for three months. Omnipotent Kiwi has been here for ten months. Thank you for the continued the support. The Death Fruit. 
Maris Lavender for five months. What if it was the deaf okay. bird? Karad Banar has returned for seven months. I know two people who are Questing for 55 food. months, we have Sigowell. The bird of the fruit. Bandy Flounder with a sub babbo. Thank you, friend. Pat from IT for six months. I didn't know Pat sub. What a nice dude. The Bearded Padre has come back for the 14th month. Priest, thank you. Beards. Meth in June. The prime time for June, 11 months. Sir Buffalo Esquire. So Biffalo. fancy. Ooh, Biff Biffalo. Actually. Axar123 for eight months. <clears throat> I like to give it the Spanish Axare. Ghost Valve has, uh, was gifted a sub by all random socks. Alpha Shadows for two months. That's twice as much as one month. That math checks out. Shark Fists hey, for a nice hey, amount of months. Nice, Thank you, friends. Nice. Hey. Systemic Sammy. For 30 months. Welcome back. Viral Stitch has come back for the 27th month. Thank you. Oopsie doopsie. It's Jelcomantis for a whole 37 months. <laughs> I am the mid boss. Is a brand new subscriber. Welcome. Gifted by the Mary Cat, we have Spartan Gandalf, Ethan 353, <clears throat> Rage Cakes, Count John D, and Greeno 44. Thank you so much. Glorious Most has returned for the seventh month. Thank you. Scyspear. It's like Scyther, but you're new. Uh, Silver Knight has been here for 16 months. Appreciate you. The Teddy Bear 676. Congrats on the sub, Babo, friend. Forever Backwards has returned for the 33rd month. Thank you. I. H. Bar. I saw that like Kennedy for 30 <laughs> months. And the bit doesn't get old. Yeah. Fozzy1203, thank you for 26 months of support. Fuzzy died for 31 months. Good thing it wasn't Fozzy. That would have been a short lived. Madunkin. Uh, Madunkin. 1976 <laughs> has come back for the fifth month. Oh, God. Type 1. <laughs> 32 months. Matt Mitchell, 45. Thank you for the nice amount nice. of months. Fresh Maker. <laughs> for 20 months. Andy Kazzy has come back for the 31st month. Thank you. Well, would you look at the time? It's Devac Crow for two whole months. Uh, Avent LP. A brand new record there and a new subscriber. Mars is dead. For 23 months. Albatros 64 has come back for the 38th month. What if they're related New to for three months. Damp <laughs> Rice, thank you for 56 months of support. Haphazard Haberdashery for 51 months. What a name. Say that five times fast. Thra Ten Amor has come back for the second month. Thank you. <laughs> Not bad. Orca. Oh, new subscriber. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, Yukasaki, thank you for 26 months of support. Bear psychologist for five months. Do bears blur? Door to door hentai sales. <laughs> Gifted by Croc 64. <laughs> we don't want it. Oh. oh, yeah. And oh, Speezy and Matrix's, uh, Matrix MS. Uh, Gifted by Dog of. And uh, thank you very much for the 620 bits to Azur Heights, uh, Karfsma778, type 1. And Kamote Chop! <laughs> Stop! Please! <laughs> thank this tension's you. unbearable. Thank you, everybody, so much for tuning in and watching. Uh, we'll be back with more Highlander in the future, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Talk to all y'all later.